Hello and welcome. I think we're live. So, thank you for joining. Let's dive in. And maybe first just take a look at the screen. We've added some more uh, junk to the screen here. So uh, let me know what you like or if you like it. I've put some small icons on the side so that you can also see that I'm available other places. Hello Merlin's fan and hello Beef. Also, I decided I wanted to make these updates on subs and patrons and they are live updated. That took a bit of time to get some updates. Uh, it's basically scraping from websites and showing it down here. So let me know if it's very confusing or if it's uh, okay. Anyway, let's uh, have a look at what is going on in our factory. <clears throat> Why am I uh, sort of short on breath? Because I'm so excited, that's why. I'm just gonna open something to drink. So if you haven't already, cheers and good evening. Nothing beats a uh, taste sensation of Red Bull in the evening. Right, so we should start with an overview of our base. Definitely, yes, cheers. Let's uh, uncheck this one and also, yeah, that's a mess. We don't want to look at that. The base is starting to be more organized. We are still, now that beef is actually here, we still have on our to-do list, make trains. We'll put it out here. Make trains to a piece. There, that's on the to-do list. Whether we make it, it's uh, questionable. We do not have belts and inserters. We do not have that. So that's a good old handcrafting territory. I'm just going to move the mic. So sorry for the scratching noises there. Let's start with an overview of the base. We start with the boring part, solar panels. We are actually not as well off in terms of power as we could have been. It's um, yeah, we need more high capacity accumulators and that because we kind of did something stupid last time. I took away the steam batteries without having adequate, um, uh, without having adequate accumulators. And I thought I had enough, but I didn't because I did not have enough lead. So now that we've reconstructed lead, everything's up and running. Now let's look at resource production. We have a lot of inbound here. You can see it's jammed actually. Okay, so this is jammed. This one is frantically trying to keep up, but it is not. And these ones are also pretty much jammed, but not quite. So this is our all our slag in production. These are all Mark II washing machines going on and filling up here. Put up this one. This one is completely jammed. It's a bit of a shame that this one is not really keeping up, but you can see oh, now there's something picking up. So there's definitely a crewing. I'm not picking up so much. This one goes in here. You can see what is being filled. It's basically full. What was it I'm doing here? Oh yeah, mineral catalyst. And uh, oh, hello, Sician as well. I w just saw that comment about Sician and D block, but I have not seen it. Um, now I guess I will never see it. My intention when it comes to trains is to make this a train line that goes through the base. Not really sure. The other alternative is maybe I can make this part of train line because there's kind of enough room. Then I could take these two up here and then, you know, there actually is enough room for trains here. And this one is going to be moved anyway. So, and there's, there's actually room here. We could make trains. Let's, uh, let's just toy with that idea. Let's uh, find some big power poles. Two of these and that's as far as I want it. Except that's totally not there I want it. And let's see, I was in the middle of a base review. You can see here, basically when I have it out in these filtration units, then it goes into either sorters, when we have the direct sorting such as this, for four, the trend that sorts for iron, four that sorts for copper. You can see the copper is not keeping up because of the stereotype. Then I have the more advanced ones down here. These are all using 
Uh, okay, see, this one is not because this is working towards gold and I do not have enough for gold yet. This is my only gold production. And uh, then I have the refining up here. This one, that's where I wanted to move these two up here so we have more room. Uh, then after refining, we go into the ingot production. What is it called? The metallurgist smelting, the smelting part. And last, the, on this process, we go into the casting part. I intend to have a lot of these setups up here. We also have over here, we have the crystal production. We're starting to really cover it. And then we go into make everything factory, all entirely robot controlled. But that's the way we like it. We have 344. Okay, so let's start by putting in some more capacitors because that's kind of becoming a problem. So basically the base is working rather well. Uh, I'm feeling less than 60 FPS. No, that was just a slight dip. That's a lot of space here. There could be a train station or something, other fancy things. We can go here. Go, 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 go. Unlock and... Oh, I do not have enough. That's here. What else do we need? We need to continue this line. It's here. So basically the plans for today, I have none. I don't have any specific plans for this, uh, this episode, but we definitely need to just continue to scale up and try to make the production just adequate. I don't really know exactly how that's going to happen, but we, um, we have so many things that are still just not taken care of yet. And that needs to be taken care of. Uh, still, of course, continue tacking. Let's continue on our research. We still we have the red and blue. So we can continue on the blue ones. Advanced gas. There are some more advanced ones. Well, since I do have natural gas liquids and synthesis gas, I do not have aluminium smelting. Manganese. I'm never going to use this recipe. But I might use... Oh, this is not the more advanced one. What is this coolant one? Let, let's. This coolant tower is making coolant. I have no idea what the point of this is. Let's see anything. Titanium smelting. I might want to get titanium smelting. Geode crystallization. Hmm. Logistics silos. Oh, that's nice. That's actually really nice. I might actually take that. What about logistics warehouses? I think logistics warehouses are nicer. Yeah, let's take that. Okay. Why you can't follow me? Hmm. Um. Hello, BFX. What the? Why are you getting into a fight with Nightbot? Right, um, I can try to give you permission, but last every time I try it, it ends up Nightbot not allowing me to give you permission. So it's not really me controlling the, the channel. It is truly Night, Nightbot that controls it. And if Nightbot doesn't want me to, or doesn't want you, it's not me, it's you, posting link, then there's apparently not much I can do about it. But Nightbot keeps us safe. And I've run out of power poles, so now we do the cheaty thing here. Picking it up. Pick up all of these, and let's see how is this one. Oh, only 19. That's not that much, but... Yes. I'm going to make sure that all of these are at least hooked up to the network. Yes, good. Here. Also, all the way over here, and they will then start working when night daytime comes around. Great. All right, so how many do we have? We have... 1.5k. Why can you not follow me? I don't know why you can't follow me. Maybe you are already follow. But it's not because I don't want you to follow me. I do very much want you to follow me. That is just pure appreciation for the follows. But let's see this one. I built this last time, but I, I feel that I got disrupted. Basically, it's a replica of this one, except this one takes up too much space, so I just wanted to make it slightly up-down-ish. 
this one is jammed so we just do this one um hey Tonton 1964 you are just a regular watcher well no sir you are not you are not just a regular watcher you are uh, definitely among my top favorite watchers at least for today let's just refresh the stream to see how many watchers among the top 25 watchers that's for sure and this one is it working yes is it working yes and this one is filling up here great and good evening to you how are you this fine evening lots of stuff is inbound here and hello bad lover i know it says bad lover but i'm reading it as a uh, as belt lover or uh, or even if you want to go the expanse way belt Halora. Whoa, this one dead. Why are you dead? Why are you dead? You are dead because, 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 what? What? Oh. Really? Oh, this is connected to the network. Oh, that sucks. This should not be connected to the network. This should be connected to this one. And when it's full, it's full. Actually, no. Not really. It should have its own. There. There. Because, and then these guys should start. Yes, because I cannot afford to run out of these, even though I have quite a few. And they're needed for my circuit boards and my basic electronic circuit board. Now, let's proceed with some of the stuff. I did have two of these because I wanted to check, check something down here. Uh, yeah. Not quite what I wanted. Let's uh, just see if I can find some blueprint that involves rails. I can. I'll just take this one. And of course I won't be able to place it. But I can at least get some idea here. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't kill the fishies. They are my fishies. I'll just give them the old mandatory love tap here. Anyone else? Oh, yeah, there are plenty of fishies down here. If you see a landfish, just shout and point, and I'll find it. That looks like a landfish, but it isn't. Okay, that's the landfish for now. This area is going to be used. Well, my idea here is, could I take a train station, train line in here, like this? I think that could work. But then, no, this is too close. I'd actually have to move it two down. I think like this, and I don't know why I'm starting here to plan trains because that's probably not needed. But what if we toyed with this idea? Then I could have a train line in here. Ooh, that was the logistics part. That is nice. What else do we need? Advanced on processing doesn't do anything. So uh, powder mixers, a tank, vehicle equipment, ceramics. I uh, don't know if ceramics is something I really desperately need. Oh, energy distribution, for sure. Hey, it feels like my tech is actually go, going faster. Because trains are cool. Exactly, because trains are cool. Um, let's do this while it is somewhat manageable. And I have an idea what I'm doing. When it gets too late, then I'm just zombieing away. So I'll be moving up here. That is definitely the same. One space in between, boom. And now I need to remove these and cheat my way to this as well. And then I'll do the same with the other one. 
here. This one also move up. You will be moving up to this location, but I'm not going to go up there. So remove this and remove this, take this and expand it out. Great. <clears throat> I'll let this run as it is. We can always just throw it away later on. I, my guess is my robots are going to be fully booked now, uh, especially considering I just gave them. Oh, not even, not even. Why not even? Oh, okay. Well, there's not that much we have here. Right, so if you uh, saw my uh, notice message, whatever it's called, uh, the announcement message on Discord, you may have noticed that I did say, um, I did link a picture from Steam, uh, Twitch. Twitch is actually uh, being very nice now. They've added a new feature, it's really cool, called a stream summary. And they have marked achievements and all sorts of cool things. And one of the achievements that I'm almost close to, which is, uh, well, it's actually a bit surprising, but it's uh, it's very nice that they finally summarized it, is actually to watch partner status. Partner status uh, allows a few more perks, such as having more emotes and a few, a few sort of better, I think also better moderation tools. But it, uh, it it's definitely really nice to be a partner on Twitch. So I would really love to, I'm hoping that we can reach there and it requires 75 average viewers on on a stream and also regular 12 unique streams during a month. And what was the last thing? The last one was, can't recall. Let me just check. That is stream over 25 hours in the last 30 days. I'm already achieved that. I have like when you need 12 unique streams, streams in 30 days, but my average viewers is not up there. So if you can tweet about that, we have this stream going, that would be really awesome. Why is this not run running? This is not running because you can't export. Oh, that's not good. Ugh. These ones are not working because they are blocked because of the logistics network. Mm. So if you know how we can get some more viewers in here <laughs> and don't say be more entertaining. And I will not do squats for uh, for pennies either. Then that would be nice. Then we can continue to grow the channel. I've also really taken a liking to Twitch streaming lately, and I actually find it really fun. I might just be become more of a streamer than a YouTuber, but you never know. Uh, things go up and down from day to day, basically, because YouTube is just screwing everyone over on the uh, the ad site it's not because of uh, of the money but it's just really frustrating to see that for no reason things have been blocked as in not appropriate for advertisers I think it's a bit unfair but that's the way it is so these guys here they just need to empty i don't want to pick up too much so once they empty we can dismantle this and then i'll go up here i think i do have some more that one is definitely not needed anything else that i don't want to carry around <laughs> water fill I don't want to carry around water fill because I'll never make mistakes again. So that's completely irrelevant. Anything else? No, not really. That one is not needed. Maybe Nixie tubes. Okay, this one's empty. Great. This one is empty. Yes. So now this, these guys are also gradually emptying. So once these stop being green, then I'll just dismantle the whole damn thing. There. And that's the end of that one. Ooh, it's actually not a good idea here. These are empty. Great. Now I can remove it. Great, 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 great. Like this. That technical problem. All right, but you are back. That's good. All right, nanobots, jump into action. We also need to start teching more up in terms of the electronics. Oh, do I actually have that? And science. This one, this is the one I need because that is, uh, okay, I'll, uh, I'll do that next. No, I'll do it now. I'll do it next. I'll do it now. I'll do it next. 
I'll do it now. It's 300. It's going to take forever, so might as well just get on with it. Boom. And we have a problem. And the problem is here. Problem is solved. Now we check here. Only one network. That means it's working. Let's take this one. This one's probably or may also have the same problem, but may or not have the same problem. This one is running out. And this one is running out. They'll be out of work very soon. So I can go up here. Mash it in. Go, 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 go. I was lurking your past streams, YouTube. What happened to your webcam? Um, it fell down on the floor. And then I tried to put it out, back on and it didn't work. And then I streamed a couple of times. And I was really happy not to be... Uh, not to have it enabled. So when I finally figured out and got it back to work, then I was like, ah, I might, I might not be streaming very much if... If I have to be on camera, it is. I just feel feel very self conscious when when on camera all the time, and it's it's taking a bit of the joy out. Maybe when I get more comfortable with the streaming part, and yeah, then then I'll uh, I'll bring it back because I I do feel that it needs to be there somehow. It is part of. How to do streaming? Oh no! Oh, I ran out. Cobalt steel? No. Nope. Brass? I do have brass. I guess. Right? Didn't I? I didn't. I make brass somewhere. That's brass. Oh yeah, more brass. X brass X. Suicide sword. Hard to balance. Yeah, uh, that is true. Uh, I do feel that some games are more appropriate to put a camera on and some games are not particularly necessary. I think Factorio is one of those games where it's not particularly necessary. While, while when I played XCOM or Darkest Dungeon, then I feel it's almost mandatory because a lot of it is just you watching my uh, frustration and exhilaration. But Factorio is kind of a different different beast in that regard. It is uh, it's much more casual, and for that reason, oh. this is not so much. Uh, let's just, let's just get this out while I remember it there, and I'm standing in the network. Great. <clears throat> so, what do you guys think? How important would you see that it's? Uh, it, it the web cameras. Right, classic games. Hmm. Besides classic WoW. Hmm. Let's see. I played a lot of Diablo back in the days. That's for sure. And what else? Civilization. Oh, one of my really favorite games of old was uh, Colonization. Funny thing, I mean, I just enjoy that game so much, and it was just something about that atmosphere and it, and and maybe you will laugh at me, but I think I learned a lot about sort of the the founding fathers of the United States from that game, something I don't really know a lot about anyway. Ah, look at that, that's not good. It's just we can't have my walking path there. Could have my walking path like this would be appropriate. Pretty close to the tracks though. Like this, I guess. And what else would be among my favorite classic games? I mean, what did I play a lot? Oh yeah, of course, StarCraft. StarCraft, oof. That was a, uh, I've played a lot of StarCraft, like obscene amounts of StarCraft back in the days. That was like basically all my time in, uh, in high school was spent playing StarCraft at night. No, actually not at high school, but it was at right after high school. I can make it here or I can make it here. This is probably better. There. Still one network and these guys are being put in. It's still not correct. 
because it's still too close to the upper one compared to the lower one. This is probably better. Zip, zip. Yes, this is equally between them. Yep. And then it's a matter of why we can't fit this in. Uh, what else? What else? What other games? Back in the days. Oh, I broke a lot of things here. And uh, let's put it back. Here. And... Oops, oops, oh damn. I one of my other pastimes these days is actually now I'm getting spammed on uh, on Tinder, so I should get another Tinder date to be uh, give you some good stories. Ah, I can't do that now. The, this uh, playing Victoria and talking at the same time is just at least one more time, one more thing that I can cope with at any given time so if i also want to be clever on on various other medias at the same time that's just not gonna pan out there and there well i don't know why i'm spending so much time on on this stupid train tracks that someone has persuaded me about was important I don't know why, because I'm not really sure that's a good idea, but whatever. Now it's now it's here. Trust trying to make room for it. And no, I'm not playing uh, StarCraft. I was I I was played StarCraft one, and I've been looking forward to StarCraft two for I don't know what was it like 13 years or something. Then it came out, and I was like, yes, I'm gonna be a professional player. I didn't quite say that to myself, but I said to myself that, yeah, I'm going to play this lot. I'm going to be just as good as I was back in the old days. And then I played, and then each game, 20 minutes, I was just dripping with sweat and shaking and just ice cold fingers. And I was like, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm literally killing myself over this. This is not the type of game that I want to play. So let's... um. Now that we have, oh, now I know what we were building. We were actually trying to get these ones up and running. Let's uh, let's have a look at it. The problem with this is this one is fine. In order to make crystals, we need the chunks. Got it. Everything is up and running again. We got the chunks, but we need also some acid. This one is easy because it's sulfuric acid. This one is not so fun because it's hydrochloric acid, but it's still manageable. The worst one here is the nitric acid because it's a long process. So we start with the hydrochloric acid because that goes back to this one, remake chlorine. Chlorine needs to come from a water plant. That means somewhere that would probably be over here. I'm creating water and I'm creating saline, saline water. This one is full. So let's get over there and do it. Uh, did you ever think about factory simul gameplay? Yes, I I lost my car. Oh no, no, I lost my car. There, are there no subscribers in chat who will uh, join me in the pledge to find my car? Uh, there, I got it. Uh, yeah, well, Factorissimo, I... There we go. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Now I'm not alone. You you help me find it. So, uh, Factorissimo, I conceptually, I both really like and I don't like that mod. <laughs> because one of the great things about, for example, Angels is this part. Like, oh, the awesomeness of having huge factories that are sprawling and takes massive amount of space. Love it. Absolutely love it. And you kind of defy that point or you, you bypass that point of having really good looking sprawling bases with factories. You know. So from that perspective, me no like. However, what 
my favorite part of this game is is making design challenges or solving design challenges and factory factory mode gives just exactly that it gives unique design challenges challenges can i fit this into uh, into a, a factory and if yes then can i make it efficient and that is an awesome challenge and really really cool so which one wins out i don't know i think that sometimes i like it more than i don't like it this one uh let's see are these four? Oh yeah okay that's nice um this would just he was to bring it in his last series he considered him to just one yeah and i i know that <laughs> i was um b effect i don't know if you were around at that point i tried to play uh um an omni matter was before that and the whole concept was exactly the same basically brilliant but then i got struck by omni matter and yeah that was yeah i I really love the, what Sisto did, but I don't like having to do that with this chaining of arms together. That was just, you disgusting. Right, so what we want to do is build something over here that makes chlorine. It's not fun for normal gameplay. And no, I think it just becomes boring because then you build like a main bus and instead of having bases you just have these anonymous uh, buildings and it, it's it's not that great but if you work on a new mod for example if you could i think an angel bob mods with factorissimo would be fun just trying to i don't know if it's fun cramming everything into one but just having like these ones are the smelting these were the metallurgy that would be interesting gotta go now well you know this video this vod will be on youtube maybe tomorrow evening i think Right, what are we doing? We are going to make some chemistry. Saline water needs to be split, and that for that we need electrolyzers. These are electrolyzers mark two. I'm gonna need more than two electrolyzers mark two. Let's see, where do we find electrolyzers? They must be somewhere here, right? Why not have electrolyzers? If someone sees electrolyzers, point them out to me. Or maybe they're up here because they come in multiple. Yes, they are. I'll take 10. Thank you. All right. So I need this one. Got it. Here. Just trying to figure out what I want to do because I need three things coming out of this. I need hydrogen, I need hydrogen chloride, and I need hydrochloric acid, which means I'm gonna have a need a lot of oxygen and not so much hydrogen. I'm still gonna consume or use the hydrogen. I think actually I want a much cleaner setup for this. This is a pretty clean setup. Get some lights. And remember getting some outputs because that's needed. And this. It is getting way too close to that location. So we're going to be one. Ah, no. Hmm, this is getting rather crowdy, crowded. I'd have to move these quite a lot apart in order for that to make it sense. Yes, I can. Vakya, I, 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 or Vakya, wow. I don't know. You, you're. I agree with you. That's also what I like. I like seeing it. I like the visual base. If you anyone has seen my belts and blocks on YouTube, I really like the fact that you can see the belts and flowing and you can see when they start dropping from four compressed lanes to less than four compressed lanes. You know, okay, things are going on here. Need to start reacting. And over here, I need three 
Why only three? What am I missing? Basic electronics boards. Ah, oh, finally we have this under control. Finally, we actually have everything under control in this space. That was last last episode was primarily a matter of, oh my God, oh my God, I'm running out of stuff, which is really ridiculous because I really shouldn't be running out of stuff at this point in the, the base, but it's always like scale up and then you start running out. Maybe I'll just build it. Your partner network, great. Your partner network, definitely partner network. This one will take saline water. Boom. Copy, um, paste, I guess. That's 1000. Am I now delivering 1000? Yes, I am. Awful. The Belt and Block Factory is really starting to look awesome with all the belts crossing. Really starting to? Yeah, it, it does. Uh, I'm really happy about it as well. And it is quite nice. Now, I think I have built this way too congested here. I don't think that what I'm doing here is a good idea. Now, basically what I need to do is jam it back together, I guess, at this point. This one will then jam what together? To hydrochloric acid and hydrochloric is now with purified water. There, I guess. Yep, that's pretty quite a lot we put in here, but okay. Well, we will eventually burn it off. I wonder if it wouldn't look better. This one was shifted up one so that both of them went. This, this looks much nicer. Yep. Go. This is nice. Hmm. It might just be turned around. Yes, turn around. And you know, also just this guy will be a near inserter. And so will this guy. So this point will do flip, flip, up. There, that's fine. You're gonna stay in here. We always need more of this. Hey, Volatar, did you uh, open up the maps I provided to you? Hope you are needing it. Cucumber? What cucumber? Uh, that's one of the really nice things about belts versus bots too. And this one also, okay. This is not quite what I intended, to be honest. Yeah, like something like this, right? These are going up here. So that'll be one of those and one of those. This one will be Chlorine, this will be oxygen or hydrogen. Go, go. This one will no, never be exported. Yeah. I'm going to accept that this is not entirely ideal. And then we need an overflow valve that's here. Basically what I'm building is I want to fill this up full. This one, I cannot imagine that I'll ever the chlorine. If I ever run out of or, or basically have too much chlorine, fine. We'll deal with that problem when we 
when it arrives arises but i don't think so here here and okay no it has to be here and how would there and now it's part of the same network right yes and this one is not connected so it is now great you are just not connected though like this anything inbound here nope so this is okay i am getting these things up here how the hell did this one not get connected nope that's not good enough that one all right <clears throat> Uh, two of three eighty-eight and Decker space. So I will not. Okay, that's uh. <laughs> yes, overflow valve. No, I don't want an overflow valve first. I want an overflow valve afterwards. So this one, basically, I want to produce until this one fills up. If this one should fill up, then I also have the draw here and that'll need to be consumed. And then I'll have one more process, which unfortunately has to be on the other side, which make hydrochloric acid. This one will then be, that's a gas. So that means I need flare stack. I have one flare stack. Things are not looking up. Where's the flare stack? If anyone can, oh, it's not there yet. Why are you not able to pick Bob's modular logistics tower? That should be much easier to manage than these tiny. Yes, you are absolutely correct. Um, I can, I guess, but I just haven't thought about it. I could just make these ones or logistics expanders. What do they require for a logistics expander? I require just RoboPort antenna array. RoboPort antenna array is down here. That's not a problem. And that's not really a problem either. You're totally correct. I should be able to handcraft this one if I have everything. So I could just go over here and just munch on some steel if I have some steel. That's not the steel. I have steel up here, I guess. Do I not? Oh, there you go. See, steel. Boom, 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 boom. This is easy. Good. Yeah, I can be the big, but I just do like it. All right, so here, copy, paste. I'll need 100 of these guys in, copy, also here. So that'll fill up this one, and then whatever comes in here, some will get in there. I need to build it into something else. Yes. However, this needs to be put into a box as well um here let's make a lot of these while we can unfortunately i have prevented myself from doing that with some rubber ports yeah we're gonna make rubber ports this one seems not okay handcraft all the things yeah well otherwise i'd have to go back to the base and pick them up and you're you're of course correct and and i know i'm a filthy handcrafter i probably shouldn't use this one because that will also be over for overfilled soon so i'll just craft new ones like this and that there this is hydrochloric acid. There's no way I can find that. There, hydrogen chloride gas, copy, paste. You're gonna get empty barrels. Yes. However, that's not the end of it because at this point I will also add water. I think it's in these. How the hell am I gonna add water to this? Where is it? Hydrochloric acid. Ah, oh, that consumes a lot. But how much is this crafting? It takes two seconds.
I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, I'm imagining the song Firestar <laughs> and Craft. Oh, that's awesome. I I wouldn't mind seeing that. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to figure out what the best way to do this one is. Maybe it's just taking it out, accepting that it can't fill, fit in there. There, and I need output. Okay, how much water comes in? I get 50 water in and 50 hydrochloric acid out. That's perfect. So that means whatever I get in can also be used to go out again. That would actually be nice. So jam it in and get it out. That means Here and this one. This one will just go straight across. So from this one, this will be purified water dripping out. Great. 100. And that goes directly in here, which is hydrochloric acid. What does it look like? It looks like green, white, red. Green, white, red. Hydrochloric acid? Yes, maybe. And this one will be, oh, into there. Great. And that one will be export in here. Great. Even more so. This one. And now we need to figure out how to connect it to the rest of the world. This one, that is not really a good place to connect. And I'll connect the other way. Man, that's quite miserable. There. These are now connected. Yes. Electricity? Why is... What? Electricity? Oh, that's fine. Okay. You're going in. You're going in. You're working. Great. And that gets pushed over here. Uh, in? Yes. Great. Yes, it is working, but these five need to be output and they're in here. Yes, it works. And let's follow these guys over because that's the whole point of doing all of this. I'll mark this with an icon because now we know where the icon is so we can easily find hydrochloric acid. Boom. And let's catch up with our small teeny tiny robots here. Go robots. Are we doing robot wise? Oh, we have plenty. We have 200 excess robots. Nice. Keep coming. We're just anxiously watching as it goes over. And the next one we want to craft is nitric acid, which is absolutely horrible. I find it, but it's, it could maybe be worse, but I, I think it is pretty bad. And I just love seeing these guys just go and go. How's this one doing? It's not exactly there yet. Following our hydrochloric acid. Almost there. And that means I can actually check this one off. Go. And this advanced electronics is just not getting anywhere because it's not getting anywhere until I have a proper source of gold because it's the gold that holds back my blue science. Yes, it requires blue science. Oh, look at this. So that was actually not the first one, but we are getting a bit. It is the constraint here. This is the main constraint. How are we doing? Okay, that's completely out, but it is pumped into the network and that is going moving down. The next one is the nitric acid. Nitric acid is also something we're going to use a lot of. Is it something I needed to handcraft though? 
or not handcraft, but exactly not handcraft, but uh, autocraft. I guess this one could be a very good candidate for making here, because I don't really need it. I just need some, but definitely not 1,000 1, of them, but just like 20 would probably be a good number. And then I need lots of stuff. I need regular iron. I need iron pipes. That's titanium pipes, that's iron pipes. Was it iron gears as well? I think so. Need to know the gears. And what was it? Additionally, it was these guys, right? Yeah, it looks about right. Good. Everything is being delivered, so that's nice. And that will give us barreling pumps. I think we should also just uh, request barreling pumps. Because that's one of those things I always just need a few of. I do not need a few of these. What else do I just need a few of? Is it working? Oh yes, it's working. Great. And it might even have someone going in. Great. Now, next one. Do you need a lot of sulfur in the mid to late game? Because I'm thinking about voiding sulfur. Do not void sulfur. You're going to need it. Uh, it it's... Depending on how you build, some some people have too much and some people do not have enough. Generally, it's so cheap to store, so just always store it because you never know, right? You never know. If you at the end of the day, it's so easy to store it. You can just like boom, never ever worry about it. You have all the sulfur. You will never ever need to uh, to void it again. Once you start having I would say four of these full of sulfur, then I would start voiding, consider voiding it, but not before. Now, let's start on something horrible. We are going to start getting a lot of chemical plants because this is, as I recorded, it is absolutely horrendous. Let's get all of it. Right. I think there are some ratios here that are pretty miserable. I mean, you can already hear me. I'm be, I am getting quite miserable about from this nitric acid. That's what we want to do. So, for every fifty nitric acid, I need one hundred nitrogen gas every two seconds. Okay, so let's start finding nitrogen gas. No, 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 no. no, no. That was way too easy. This is nitric acid, nitrogen dioxide. Let's craft nitrogen dioxide. This outputs 100 nitrogen dioxide every two seconds. This inputs 100 nitrogen dioxide every two seconds. Okay, so far this is easy. That's one to one. Nitrogen dioxide comes from 40 nitrogen monoxide gas. So I need to craft 40 nitrogen monoxide gas per two seconds. This is nitrogen monoxide. And I need to craft 40 of this. This is more than 40. So if, oops. Nitrogen monoxide, yes. So if I have, let's say, oh, that's a landfish. Ah, it's a landfish. That's a gra uh, grass fish, that's what I called. Anyone else, any, any more? There we go. Give them that good old love tap that they need. To be domesticated. Ah, come on. There we go. Hey, Kamikaze, welcome. Now it's a watch me fail at math. So if we had four of these, and I'd need 10 of those. So I need two of these and five of those. And that's incorrect. It's the other way around. which also makes it five of these guys. And this one, this one within every two seconds, it produces 
it produces 100 monarch side gas. This one every, oops, this one every 20 second, two seconds, it consumes 40. Yeah, like this. Zip. Zip. That's exactly not as bad as I remember it. Hello, Prime Dead. No, Elendil, we are not using that. That is for, uh, for noobs, real men fail at math. I don't like Helmod. Uh, I, I find it, okay, don't like it. That's, that's too strong of a, that's, it's just, um, I like playing without it. Let's say for me, this is maybe where I'm, I'm starting to realize that I'm old school in terms of Factorio. But I really do like this uh, calculations and making stupid calculation errors and, you know, not like these young people of today who with their calculators and all that stuff. Oh no. That one is oxygen in. This one is oxygen in. Yep. And the other one, not gonna be there. It could go to the other way. Yep. And is there something? Oh yeah, this one is actually quite interesting from the sense that I they'll pick up and they'll deliver this. Yeah. They're both gonna be picking up and, and delivering. L N copy paste there. So that should actually work. Victoria should be played with slide ruler. Exactly. I just see squeak through. That's not hardcore enough. Oh. This is not hardcore enough for you. <laughs> well, well, well. Um, technically, I don't need to connect these, but experience tells me that it works better, even though there's slightly more liquid calculation. That's aligned here. So these guys are going to get oxygen in. And up here, we are finally ready to do some outputs. Whee! This will be the output. So let's take some of these. Here, can do it. This will be output. This will be input. Input. And like this one as input, right? And that requires a, this will be oxygen being poured out of barrels, inbound, outbound, here, here. That works, copy, paste. Oh, good thing it's not hooked up yet. This one is, It doesn't need to be completely full, but can suffice with just 600 of them. Perfect ratios or perfect distance. Very nice. I like this. I, I starting to feel that this is actually a good way of doing it. Ugh, I annoys me when they cross over like this. And that one, just need to hook them up somehow. Yep. This one copy. And since it's just empty barrels coming out, then this is correct. This one's also like this up here. And this will be purified water being poured in. Where do you have to purify it? There, copy, paste. This is 100. This one will be ammonia. 
This is Ammonia. Copy paste. Also request assemblers and use upgrade planner to craft on your craft everything. Great. Yeah, but I know, but I don't technically need it. So I'm I'm always really hesitant about just upgrading for the sake of upgrading. Um it doesn't mesh very well with the way I play generally. I upgrade when I need it, but I don't upgrade just for the hell of it. There, so now all of this should be in one network. If I could just, we're gonna make it down here, I guess. This is an okay area, I guess. Yeah, this is fine. Get rid of it. And that's while we do this, we'll build some more. What are they called? They're called nanobots. And here they are. Mm hmm. Not very lean. I feel that sometimes it's it, in factorial. It's whenever something is a fixed cost, it doesn't matter. Anything, it's only the variable cost that matter. It's in that way that anything where you just have to invest once will always pay off. Just it's almost that simple. It's always worth it to upgrade anything where once you do it, that's it. And this is now same network. Great. We should see everything come in. Yes. 100, 100, nothing because it's not being requested. Copy paste greens 200. This one is hundred coming in. This one is nothing coming in because we do not have monoxide. Oh, uh, what is it? Nitric. New trick. There, copy paste. So you're gonna just gonna get one hundred of those. Great. But it's a good idea with the, the inserters or the assemblers. So I will request these assemblers and I'll request these assemblers. I will also start requesting some fast inserters, even though I should be using express inserters, but we'll get around to that some sooner or later. How's this one doing? We are missing oxygen. Let's keep in track on the oxygen. It is inbound. Where is it coming from? It should be coming from here. Oh, oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. Once the oxygen comes in, I think this one is working. Whoosh. Yep, it's working. Let's see if everything lights up and then I'm happy. Green, everything is green. Everything is green. We have nitric acid. Let's zoom over. And follow the first nitric acid. Nanobots, power hold, chests. You're absolutely correct. You are very correct. Nanobots. We will request nanobots. They are here. Boom. I don't need 100 if it works like this. And what else? What did you say? Power poles. Yes, power poles. That is one of those trivial things that we always seem to forget. Here it is. You're still following my nitric acid chests. Uh, yeah, kind of, maybe ish. I have to go down. Go, 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 go. All of this has to be reconstructed. And oh, where did it go? It went here. No, I didn't see it when it got put in. Great. We have the very first being crafted and boom, being picked up. So we follow this one. This one will make a big difference because this means that we can now start making actual gold in decent quantities. This one is not keeping up. Why is it not keeping up? Only 50 being inbound. That's definitely something the robot is not doing so well. Not so hot. And where is it heading? It is heading to this guy. Really? I thought I was the, following the first one. Damn, I was not following the first one. Boom. And the gold is coming out. Follow the gold, follow the gold, follow the gold. And this is where I have to do the proper gold process. Oh, right. What I need to do now is actually stop this silly one here. This one is hugely inefficient. Go, go, go. 
That one. Stop. Is there anything inbound? No. Oh, something is inbound. Damn. But I need to stop this one because I don't want to use this. I, because I'm using it now using hugely inefficient, right? Because I'm using a six rubite for one gold. Well, if I can take my six rubite, will be six crystals. Or will be two crystals together with the other crystals. And that means I'll put a lot less stress on my rubite production. And now I should not have more inbound. Okay, just 80 more and then that's it. And the 80 comes here. Nope. 50 more apparently. Okay, they're coming here. Great. So now nothing more is being crafted and then I can decommission this one as soon as this one is being processed. That's nice because this one is the lead and the tin here, aluminium, silicon. Let's actually figure out what else I want or need. There, that's the last of it. Excellent. Now, what else would I want to craft? Uranium ore, would that be fancy? Silver ore we definitely need soon. Cobalt, we need all of it, right? They all require the crystals. So I guess it's time to make the crystals and I need one more type of liquid and that's the fluoride ore. So that means I probably need to get this one as well. Not entirely sure that that's correct because there's another alternative. Um, I know I, I'm using what's it used for and this FNA is better, but I kind of like got used to this one with all of its stupid interface. Right, what am I looking for? I am looking for fluoride. Fluor, okay, not spiral fluoride. fluoride. Hydrofluoric acid barrel comes from hydrofluoric acid. Hydrofluoric acid is coming from synthesis. I thought it was also coming from something else. It was one of these, this one? That's hydrogen sulfide. Oh, that sucks. I thought it was like, it's this one. No? Hmm. I thought there was one that provided something hydrogen sulfide. That's the Fisher Trops process. Hello, C same. I guess not. Oh, it was catalytic grass cracking. But I don't know if that exists in C block. Where is that? Wasn't it called cracking? No, it's acid gas cracking. Acid? Don't we have acid gas somewhere? Can't recall. There must be some acid. Acid gas barrel. Really? That's strange. Acid gas? Has acid gas just been oh here? Really? It has this disappeared? Right, is a beast. I kill uh, you can also crystallite fluoride and uranium from mineral sludge in ordinary angels. Yeah. I am I have I completely missed something or is it a C block thing? Has Angel changed his recipe because usually when you Oh, it's because of one of those recipes that don't exist. When you pump up oil from the ground, you are you're getting acid gas as a waste product and that acid gas needs to be processed and that goes into catalytic gas or it goes into some acid cracking and acid cracking is the best way of making fluoride. So I guess there's no other way than me actually making fluoride. Let's do this. I don't expect to need much of it. So this is again one of those where fixed cost is the only thing that may actually matter. F-L-U-O-Fluoride. 
there. Yep, so that's the fluorite. I will also need some more types here. How are we doing here? 10k. Yummy. Let's actually just build every single type that I can build, just one of each. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not sure five is the right, right number. Here, one, two, three, four, five. And I guess I need five of these sorting machines, MK5. I'm just going to get it up here. Sorting, sorting, sorting. 26, that's a bit much. I love that sound. I think I'm still using byproduct from ore processing. Okay. You can also crystallize. Yeah, I can crystallize. These are not the ones. These are not the droids we're looking for. The droids we're looking for are nickel ore. It's just going to be so slim chance that I'll ever use it. But I guess it's one of those where you just got to create one of them. Those silver, cobalt, titanium. Zinc? Do I not have zinc? Really? Nope, no zinc. And... Hmm... Is it uranium ore? I don't think I want to build uranium. I'm... Really? Un no, I don't. I don't want to go that road. I, I think that's so expensive. Um, I guess I need one for nickel, even though it's just gonna be idle. Copy, paste. Again, this is about the fixed cost, so yes, it's a bit sad to waste this amount of materials. But once it's wasted, it just doesn't matter anymore. Copy, paste. Okay, so they won't even craft anything because there's already more than 1,000 in here. 1,000 nickel. This one is zinc, so we're going to take the zinc here. This is going to put a huge strain on our resources, but that's okay. We are not using them a lot at this point, so it might be okay just straining it a bit. Zinc. And this one is titanium. Titanium is rough. Very expensive. We, of course, need to craft more of these types because I don't have them yet. And this one will be titanium. Because once I have this, then I can start just saying, all right, I have everything, even in small quantities. And then we can start making just whatever the hell we want. Checking up like crazy and scaling up like crazy. Cobalt as well. Cobalt looks absolutely stunning. And the last one was silver. Copy, paste. Ooh, silver is also an expensive one. The great part about using only the pure recipes is the fact that I can now easily control exactly what I want. I will have no byproducts in high quantities and I'll have no excess slack. I think you need nickel for something in Z-Block. Invar? Nitinol? I don't, I don't know. I'm going to use it for something, but I never use very much of it. So this way I'll just say, fine, I need some, but I don't need how much. And that basically crafts all the stuff we need. This one is not getting any rubite. Why are we not getting any rubite? Oh, because rubite is being used in abundance here. This one might be one of those where I just need to uh, use more. Um, yes, we got it. What is this one doing? Oh, that's even more. Well, 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 well. Why are these up top? It should be something I can research that's up top. Is this leading into something? Not really. Hmm, what do we want? This one's a dead end. This one is situl gas and natural gas liquids. Oh, this is nice. Toluene. I don't know if I need toluene for anything. Maybe I do. 
branch glass is also an alternative way of making fiberglass. Might that be such a bad way of making fiberglass? Ooh, this is good. This one we need. Also the heading towards better plastic. Hey, Cherry. And everything here is working, more or less. Now, what I need to scale up here, I love this part where you just have massive sorting areas, arrays. Oh, my little guy here, so, so slow. Crossing the rail tracks, the future rail tracks. Not that I think that it really matters much. So, here. I wonder if this is fast enough. So this one takes two, it gives two. That's really not very fast. I think I need to double all of these up. It won't really change much, but it'll just uh, gives more of a sense of a completion by doing this. Oops. Uh, that's, that's a bit of a problem here. I have to take that out. One in between. Because... Like this because I need I simply need to be able to feed this one and also this one yeah you're okay and this is leaching plants mark two obviously I need leaching plants mark two I'm gonna need 20 of them because why not come on boop, boop, boop. here Here and this one. Why are we not able to do this? Okay, I'm gonna head towards the better plastic because at some point we'll run out of plastic. Not just yet, but when we start making electronics first for real or in serious amounts. There. And how I'm doing? Well, I'm doing great. I mean, this is Factorio, so how could I not do, be doing great? Wouldn't you say? That's a wow, logistics spot. We are actually having 350 logistics spots active. That is quite a nice uh, amount. I don't think I need the trains though. It, I think it's hard to build the trains on this base at this point. Let's uh, start with the next one. If I want to make more crystals, let's see. What do I have? I have red, light, blue. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm not. I'm not an exterminator, I know the names. Rubite, stereotite, and cretinium. So I need sapphirite, that's sulfuric acid. I need tibolite, that's hydrofluoric acid. Ooh. And I need babonium, that's sulfuric acid. Great. So I'll take the sulfuric acid template here. And remove that one and that one. Because there's no point in getting that in immediately. So that is probably going to be Bobmonium. And the next one is going to be Sapphirite. And you know what? Might as well just take the last one, which is going to be Geolite, which is not going to be easy. Go, 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 Nanobots. What are you up to? You are not having enough. Really? Are these running out? Eh, kind of. Oops. And now that I am in a RoboPort network, yes, keep going. I'll need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. Woohoo! Go, go, go. And that's exactly how you pick up 16. And I also need some inserters. Cool. Here, more inserters. And these guys are obviously up, up and running. I need some lights. Lights is something that for some reason I always end up, connect the pipe, connect the pipe, connect the pipe, connect the pipe, what pipe? 
Hot pipe. This should be connected. So, Anarillion the first. Can you maybe give a bit more hint? Basic circuits. I also request those. Probably not a good idea. The bottom group is missing. Really? Really? Really, really? You guys are fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, yellow, 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 yellow. I like the fact that it's yellow. That means everything is crafted. This one. You are... Yeah. What is it I wanted? I wanted Bobmonium. Bing, 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 bing. Paste. And is it 500? Yes, it's 500 because that's the amount we want. Copy, paste, yes. And up here, it will be sapphirite. Copy, paste. This is now where, oops, where I'll start to run out of sulfuric acid, I think. Copy, paste. And this is why I'm saying it depends on how you're playing, because this way I play where I only do the clean, um, do the clean process then I'll be using a lot of sulfuric acid. However, if you're only doing, for example, chunk, sorting chunks, then you will be having an excess. This one will not be completable because that's the floric. Okay, I'm not right, not just now. This one is something fluoric. I empty hydrofluoric, copy, paste. 100 of those that do not exist. The elusive ones. This one will be the Geolite. Gonna be the, by far the toughest one. And that will be, oops. Here, copy, paste. Copy, paste. This is inbound, 500, 600 is inbound. Great, I like it. Did you, did you, oh no, you're flying back. You're flying back. You were supposed to deliver stuff to me, weren't you? Ah, it doesn't matter. Why is this not working? You are... Ugh, damn, I forgot that. Um, how do we do that most efficiently? I guess the answer is... Manual? Okay, like this. So this one, blue, copy, paste, paste, paste. Copy, paste. I guess this is as about as efficient as I can make it. This one is less important because it's gonna be a while until it starts working, but I might as well fix it now. Copy. Paste this one, copy, paste. And now the interesting thing is the only answer, I love to hear your reasoning behind why you don't believe in Facebook. Um. <laughs> uh, because I, and I know I'm being old fashioned. There is a benefit to Facebook and that is hooking up with your high school sweetheart there you go i said it that's it exactly what's a five that's exactly it it is if you if it didn't jump on it immediately now it's basically my mom enjoys it a lot and aside from this i can catch up with the people i've lost contact with and see how their life goes but really ugh. and the part is it's also just consuming such an immense amount of time for everyone and i have enough time places and and to waste time and i don't need facebook to just know everything about me and just show me pictures of random stuff i really liked it when it just came out 
I thought it was like awesome. It's basically like a personalized blogging platform where you could just like write stuff to your friends and and just yeah, they you could share your sort of uh, funny stories and those kind of things. But that's not really what it's for. Now it's just tons and tons of spam with completely irrelevant stuff. So no, I I kind of just sat that one out. Twitter, okay, Beef, now you volunteered. Explain to me how Facebook works, uh, Twitter works. If, if, if I were to explain how Twitter works, that's basically me opening my window and just shouting random things. And most likely when I look out my window, there's no one standing out there. There's no one standing out there just saying, hey, I wonder what this guy is gonna yell out the window. And that's kind of the idea because you're like, no one's out there, so why? tweet and and it's just such random bursts that it's not i don't understand i just don't understand it and i can understand why celebrities why it works for them but for random peoples i don't know uh what on facebook you have to pay so even your family sees the post really have to pay never heard of that <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now the next thing, <laughs> I have a Twitter and and it doesn't work. I mean, sometimes someone retweets something at me and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to reply? And, and that again is the analogy of just someone yelling out the window across the street what's the point i don't get it it it's yeah if i don't get it i'm not very good at social media in, in case you didn't get it i don't i'm not really good at social media which is also kind of one of the points of, of me starting this youtube channel well this is not a youtube channel but starting it just just saying like you know you're too young to be an old bitter man who just shakes his head at young people and their technology too old too young for that role to start kicking in and now if i'm being honest i'm <laughs> for screaming i'm live out the window exactly <laughs> right but i just i i really uh <laughs> thank you that, that's BPS sports. BPS sports. You want to treat it like social media? Just to like Reddit of <laughs> Reddit and 4chan. Well, I do use. I like Reddit, and that's my share of random junk. Uh, it's good for those. Right, I need the flooring. What is board service? Okay, I need to create while we are uh, dissecting the world of social media i also need to work on this factorial factory but by all means i like it ah oh, bad lava we are not uh i i yeah nightbird is a bit over over zealous to sign up twitter for your users <laughs> tween <laughs> tween a link with a few cards of whenever you release a video or start live stream exactly that's my usage uh yeah, I remember those bulletin boards. So those are the first forums of, of any kind. I'm not at those, but what I kind of wanted to say was, you know, back in, if I look two years back, I was hopelessly outdated on social media. But now, now I have a YouTube channel. I have a, I have Twitch, I have Discord, and it's all working together. So I'm kind of, uh, I'm, I'm I'm kind of getting it. Oh, and I'm Tinder for sure. That's also a very, very uh, being young with the youngest people. Right, back to the topic at hand. We are going to make some fluorite. Yeah, fluoride ore and sulfuric acid. Again, more sulfuric acid. I'm also getting some stuff. Why do we even have chemical plants mark one any by now? 
No, I I did have ICQ back in the days, but never or I don't think I used uh, Messenger except where at work. Uh, uh, beef. What kind of, what kind of you're using as a development block? You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can dial back Nightbot. We have such a nice conversation here, and I don't think it's fair if now that I ask you for example for uh, your development block, then I don't can't have. And protection. All right. Links. I will try to in disable you. All right. You are now disabled. I think I'll just need to take Nightbot out. Nightbot is now leaving the channel. Yep. And now Nightbot is joining. I'm sure you have the mod. So I said mod Nightbot. Okay, I'll do that. Mod bot. Of course. Great. Amazon. Uh he's in Whoa now as you I always wonder obviously don't answer don't what's your day job? I met some kind of development work with code. No, I'm not. I am a manager of a large development several development teams. So, and I also have operations. So I have development teams, business analysts, solution architects, test managers, change managers, developers, um, that kind of thing. So manager development team, building software in a large international company. That's what I do. Used to, I didn't used to do development, but I used to do project management and also I would say business analyst but I kind of moved into management by now and I like it. That's not correct, is it? No, it's not. I also noticed that someone from, from uh, the channel here or one of my patrons actually found me on LinkedIn. Not that I mind that and, and I don't mind this spillover. I have said to myself that by the time I hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, I will put my YouTube channel on my LinkedIn page because then it's big enough for it to actually be more than just a hobby. It is still a hobby, but it's then something that's not just like, oh yeah, I play computer games in my pastime, but more like, yeah, I have this hobby and it's actually pretty uh, serious in, in that regard. And this is just junk coming out, so that needs to go here. Here and there. Great, that works, that works, that works. And I will need these. Here. Okay, let's see, is it liquid in, liquid out? It's 50 in, 50 out, so that's perfect. <clears throat> uh, could you have a webcam? Oh. I made a chainsaw mod for Factorio. Oh, that's awesome. Hopefully it's not too noisy. Um, like almost everybody in computing in my age, I'm 40, not a manager, but got dragged into the notorious tech company area. What, Narelian, what, what do you mean by that? Almost everybody in the computing in our age So I can actually take the empty barrels from here can go up here. So that's the part I really like about this kind of setup. Now I can take inbound, outbound, and it is covered. 
So this is again empty sulfuric acid, copy paste. And this one will be barreling, no, not a hydrogen sulfide, but hydrofluor, is it hydrofluoric? No, it's not. Is this hydrofluoric you're getting out? Yes, hydrofluoric. Why are we not working? Why is it not working? This is working. This is working. Inbound. It's the fluoride we're not getting. Yes, of course. Uh, I have no idea where this is. It's probably here. There. 500. Boom. Get it? Yes, we're getting it. Awesome. Yeah, if you are close to 40, you are either a manager or you are too deep in tech and really don't. <laughs> uh, so you're saying, yeah, okay. I actually really wanted to be a manager. Um, I was really, wow, it's not even getting to the end of the line here. That was embarrassing. No. And uh, the reason is basically that I. I like project management and well, as a developer, your scope is quite small. Ah, hello, welcome. Um, and then as project manager, your scope is bigger. You can do bigger things. And however, I just didn't like the fact that you're at least where I work, it's kind of project managers are kind of expected to wear out people. And I didn't like that. I really didn't like that at all. Okay, that did not last very long. So this one is working. Let's see when the next one comes in to pick this one up. Um, so I didn't want, want to be the guy who was wearing people out. So I wanted to change the line management because you could still build really cool things, but you did not have to be such an asshole about it. And you could build for the long term and you can just have more say because in a project, you don't really care so much about the procedures and process of how working or what happens after the project. You're just expected to get shit done, throw it over the fence, and then, uh, oh no, like I killed it. That was more than a love tap. And then just move on to the next. And I didn't really like it. So change to line management, really enjoying it. Have a really, really good team or several good teams, good managers working for me. And that makes it a hell of a lot of fun. We do pretty amazing things. So we're working really hard on, on taking in, on taking a big organization that two years ago put a ban on agile development because it doesn't work. And then I said, well, screw you. I'm going to do agile development uh, because it, it's the only thing that works. And that's been a bit of a struggle. And I've been sort of teaching ever since. And we've been working on it and proving that it is the right way to go, despite Everyone basically said, well, if you're going to do it, it's on you and everyone will just come to you when it fails. I said, fine, but we, this is the only way we can get the stuff done. So we are just, um, it, it's fun, but it's a really long process. It's not something you could do in a project. You have to be in it for the long haul. And now we also have silver. The first silver is produced, except silver ore. Really? Do I have more than 1,000 silver ore? Apparently I have 1,100. Nice. Did not know that. Not to change this update, but what's on the agenda for today? I missed the first hour, it seems. Um, agenda today is Factorio. I don't know if you know this game. Um, what we have done is scaling up this one and making all the prerequisites. Um, and then basically it's about checking up, making sure we get all of the different kinds of metals going because then we can build, uh, get more flexibility. I also need to clean this up, but I don't bother doing it right now. The other thing I want to do, which I actually think I want to start on right now, is to start working on more electronics parts. So this is why I've left some space here, is I do expect this one to be expanded now. 
So, upgrade planner. Oop. This one, yeah, whatever. Rails? Ah, not rails yet. Because I'm not going to do rails until I clean this up. Because I'm going to pave through this with my rails. So I need to uh, actually get it up and running. It would be nice if I had somewhere like here maybe of a big array where it said each product, how much I had in the logistics network. That would actually be really, really cool. Maybe I should do that. That would actually be really fun. Because I, I kind of have a... I'm always wondering, like, do I have enough? What are you doing? Go away. Now, I can build a lot of these. I'm just, okay, this is just me having an, an idea. I would like to continue the conversation, but at the point here, I'm watching those. Right, let's start by saying something like, um, Sapphirite. Stereotide. Ammonium, we are of course always Anxiously waiting for Angel to create the Nilausium. That is, uh, we are there. And the Jivo light. And the, the one I believe is spelled incorrectly. How it's spelled, but it, it feels wrong. M. There. So, uh, how the hell are we going to do this? Yes, Nilassium. Yes, exactly. Well, it was not me who came up with it. It was uh, actually Angel. So, how would we do this? We would then have something like, uh, up, up. let's actually do it with copper text. We would have <clears throat> brushed. And then we would have, what it would we have? We would have, what's the next? Chunks. And we will have crystals. And then we would have perfect. Yeah. Yeah. You're fine. Isn't it called perfect? That's no, purified. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oops. I ate one of these. You go in there. Purified. There. And the reason why I left so much space is actually because I need these guys here, right? That'll give me enough space to write how many I have of each. Fortunately, it's going to be pretty close to each other. This is Nixie tubes. I may also have the smaller Nixie tubes. Let's try the small ones. Small Nixie tubes. We'll build a few of these. These. Yep. Yeah. However, it's spelled. Oh, that's. You can also. Yes. And hello, Cap Hollis or Skilla or whatever we should call you. Let's try this one once. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Now, you're definitely going to need some better power poles. I think this one is the right place to start using it. 
Oh, why am I not creating anything here? I need electric energy distribution, this one. Go. And that should hopefully be pretty fast now. Let's have a look at our science. All of these should be operational now. And the blue, oh, not really getting much here. But at least it has 26 of each. Why is this so damn slow? The blue ones, that one, what are you waiting for? You're waiting for glass at this point. Okay, oh, interesting. Let's go up and build some medium electric poles, some better ones. Do you use slack or nodules to generate slack slurry? I use nodules, you can see it here. This is our production, that one, and this one. This one is full, so I have definitely have enough of everything. But I really wish this one would start working. Now I'm going to do something sh that's stupid if I do this, isn't it? Yes, it is. This is awful. This is such a bad idea. 12 is now being picked up, even I do this one. Ah, then it stops being picked up. Uh, okay, I'm going to do this one. And then all of them will converge to this location and pick up. Uh, all of you. That just should be like a train of robots at some point coming in. They're just coming slowly in from all sources. There should be like all of them coming from one. There we go. There's the train. Once the train is there, then I switch back. Zoom. Boom. There we go. Now it can work again. I've been pretty keen to try C-Block map, but it seems so daunting and I'm very neat with my build. Yeah, it is. Um, it is quite daunting, but that's kind of also the fun part of it. And I think it's one of the important things. Oh, look at that. Substation Mark II. These are the ones I always use. I always use Substation Mark II. That's the one I end up using the most. Because it's not that difficult. Whoa, whoa. And there we go. That's... Right. So it's actually this one. I need to remove this. This one will then be here. This one will be there. And I need to remove this. And this one will be Mark II. And... I wonder how I got the next tier of media of power poles. Then I can just do like one, two, three. Um, what else do we need? We need a brass plate and tin copper wire. Okay, let's get brass plate. That's over here. That's the brass plate and tin copper wire. There. Yes, it's inbound. Cool. Toast, yes, the moldy toast. Can I craft it myself? No, I cannot. Why can I not? Okay, there it is. What if I had one of these? Could I? Nope, I'm missing brass plate. That's the medium electric poles, and they need to go in here, here. And that one has to be moved in favor of Mark II. These just go away. I don't really need the big ones until I start making a bigger, much, much bigger base. And that's not really around the corner. Here. Ah, perfect. Great. So these are bigger power vaults. Awesome. Working nice. Well, nothing is preventing you from going out and getting some nice juicy toast. How much bigger are they? Uh, this one is 7x7 seven seven, and these guys are 9x9. Nine nine, so you can see the difference here. They just have one square in each direction. That should be enough for what I intend to do. Oh, this is horrible. There's... Yeah. 
like this and here not so good but i have to do it this way and that means moved nope that's actually not the case i just need this one here it's actually okay it's this one that then has to be moved just one i don't know if this is particularly useful but i it's those kind of things that it takes some time to set it up but if i then get it completely set up it's actually going to be really really neat because it, it's kind of useful for a lot of things like this it is now working awesome let's get some content and that content is oh i have like massive yeah you're going to be here for no apparent reason but it will allow me to get we'll use the green wire i'm always a favor of the green wire for carrying positive news there so this one will be sapphirite crushed sapphirite there. Is it really true that it's 8,000? Doesn't look right. That doesn't look right, does it? Oh, it does look right. This is not big enough. Doesn't look good. It needs to be the big ones. I don't think I need more than this much. And here, press that right. Yeah, I think this looks better. Let us try. Let's try this one as well. One, two, three, four. No. Chunks, zero. Hmm. Mixy tubes. Missing your stream though. Well, okay. Come on, stop making those sticks. And again, we started on the crusade to auto craft or to handcraft everything, and that's wonderful because that's apparently who we are. There, yeah. and the last one will obviously no, obviously also be empty, be zero. Perfect, great. I like this one. I really do. I think there's a good concept with it. I just I don't know if I should put lights here just to make sure that it's lighting up. This one is strange. Why do we not have any chunks? But this is exactly the kind of information I would not have if I didn't do this. Hmm. Go away, go away. Invalid next controller. That's an interesting command. I have not seen that error before. Go. Maybe it's time for the next tubes to be crafted, industrialized. Oh no, the horror. Look at those wires. Oh, they're so disgusting. I can't, I can't take that. I can't take that. That's horrible. What the hell is going on? This is okay. This is okay, right? Yes, this is fine. And lots and lots of... Okay, so, so far so good. Need more power poles, yes. Ah, uh, no, not really. We have tons of power poles. Um, 
It's actually just the fact that it, it didn't place them in the correct order. Yeah, see, this is the problem. When I place it here, it starts getting like cross wires. I don't like that. See, I get these cross wires that I do not like. Why can I no longer make? Ugh. Thank you, Angel, for making this miserable. There we go. It's ugly. Well, I was so happy with this because it looked so nice. Whatever. All I need to do is take from here. Yeah, I really should be making substation mark two invalid controller. Don't give me that. And also manual wire the poles. Yeah, I know I can, but I don't want to. <laughs> I just don't want to, because it'll be like then suddenly I mess it up and then ugh, everything has to be redone. But anyway, this one. I'll start making uretite. Uretite. Kind of depressing that it's all of it is zero. Whoa, 2000? Oh yeah, that's actually the cap. And over here, let's start building more of these because that's apparently what we do. All right, let's, let's see. There must be something up here where I can make Nixie tubes. Yep. Is it three as the space between? Yes, it is. It's not three. One, two, three. Boom. All right. One. It actually covers everything now. Yeah. Ah, and I can't pick it up. Damn it. So I am stuck with a handcrafting. Ammonium. And rubite. And all the other ones here. This one will be ammonium chunks and rubite chunks. And what else? Rubite chunks, yep. Jewelite chunks. Oh, that's a lot of jewelite chunks. And cretinium chunks. Yep. Moving on, this will be ammonium crystals. This will be rubite crystals. Probably none. Yep, jewelite crystals. A bit, and, and cretinium crystals. There. And the purified will be a big old nothingness of nothingness. You can also shift click a power pole to remove the wires and then connect them manually in row by row. It takes a bit more time. Yeah, I think that's exactly what I have to do. This is my least favorite command in the game. And it also lost the green wires, but that's, I think that's easy to compensate for. We did get some of these, yep. So I'm going to build one of them correctly here, here. And then the green wire. Green wire is here. Green wire here. And then I think I can take this one. 
And I think it should work with wires as well. No. Doesn't... Ah, uh, it only works with green wires. Damn. So it doesn't work with copper wires. Oh, well. Now we know. And then back to more Nix tubes afterwards. Here. I'm not sure this is totally worth it, but... This one. Yeah. Everything is hooked up now, so... Yeah, lots of things here are pretty damn stupid. I am not prepared, that's for sure. And I know it broke a lot of things down, but it's... And then this one is not even, a, even correct. It have to be something like this, or hold on. How good this one would work? Right? Why the hell did I just do this one? Do it like this, it would be so much easier. There. Silly noob. In rubite, all right, no rubite. And do I not have any more of these? No, I don't. All right. Vita Peaks with strawberries, blueberries, banana for breakfast instead of toast. Oh, okay, that doesn't seem like a bad trade. <clears throat> all right, I think this is actually much nicer. I still need a bit of from here. Okay, so I can see Rubite is not doing very well. Let's have a look if this is actually correct. Rubite. Oh, that's an interesting one because that is Oh, that's a bad move. So it's because I'm not getting rid of it. So I'll just do this one. That'll convert all of this. And actually, I think it's more important that these do not ever become blockers. All right, nanobots or robots, you're going to get busy because you need to get rid of all of this crap. And that should actually really drain all of the robots. Yep, not a single robot left. Great. And that'll allow Rubite and Stereotype to come back online. Great. I love this one. This is awesome. Uh, that's also interesting. Now make it so subtotals and analysis of variance. Yes, I'll do that. And, and also the change per sequence and change. Oh, can I use colors on these? I use colors. Uh, no, just no. Just no. Basically, if I was, it should be green if it's more than something and red if it's less than something. Uh, why did you make a mineralized water and void it? Why don't you just make, uh, because I, that's a huge giant waste. I don't, it's not about getting rid of it. This is the best way of getting rid of it. Getting more, getting uh, even more of this, absolutely, absolutely uh, necessary. Now, now I'm going to be less stupid next time I build this here, because what I need to build down here is actually the normal ore. And then I'll have ore ingots plates.
Good. And we'll continue here. This one. Or. Then we have ingots. And then we'll have plates. Yes. Here, and I will do the same. Basically, I will say here, and then I'll write all of the different ores. Should I write them in the correct sequence? I think I should. So where do we have it? Aluminium. Aluminium. Yep. Next is Chrome. Nope, I'm not going to do that. Cobalt. I'm not going to bother with those. Cobalt. Yeah. It would only be because there was a signal telling it to use a color or mod. Yep, but it's um, I can build it, but I don't bother. Um, I mean, I'll sound like a high school. Yeah, I can do that. I just don't bother. I'm not, it's not because I'm afraid. I just don't bother doing it right now. Cobalt, copper. And the next one is, do I get silicon? Uh, yeah, silic no, silicon is not here, but I'll take golden. Gold and iron. It's really confusing with these uh, menus up here. Now I can press E and then go in. After iron comes lead. And then comes manganese, forget about nickel. Silicon. Silver. Silver comes, uh, nope, tin. Tim the Enchanter. Lime, tin. Titanium. And what do we have? Zinc. Before zinc, we have tungsten. Tungsten is such a strange name because that literally means in Danish heavy rock. But in Danish, it's not called tungsten. It's called Wolfram. And that's really strange. So anyone have a good explanation for that? Zinc. There. Yeah, I mean, you could... <laughs> why are some of the numbers negative? And hello, Rancher. And the reason why some of them are negative is because when, and when the first one is put in here, then the network detects, ah, there's a positive number and someone is demanded. Then it, it sends one robot to pick it up and that robot can carry 200. That means the logistics, ne now net the logistics network now has whatever is produced minus the capacity of the robot, which makes it a negative number. Then you can see it counts like this. This is as it is producing, and then it resets the second the robot comes pick up, picks it up. At this point, there's nothing left in the, in the network. What is uh... 
It's formed from every other hearts. Okay. L like pineapple? Why is it like pineapple? <laughs> I don't get that. Nice. Now I know what tungsten. And it's also evolved from in, in Danish. And the. What is the chemical symbol for that? It's W. Hmm. Yeah. When that's a pretty good indicator. Uh, Wolfram and heart. Yeah. Pineapple. Yes, I get. Okay. And technical terms, we use something just like you can use. Okay. Well, we, we got it sorted at least. Right, let's um, start spamming five and five. Guess this looks better. And we can then take, oh, hold on. I'll just take this one. This will be aluminum. Now let's go over and this one, aluminum ore, aluminum there, and this one will be aluminum there. Nice. Go. You should consider get the next two factory going before you finished. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, I know we talked about this, didn't we? How many do I have? 95? I need definitely more than 95. So we'll get it up and running. Good idea. And we drive over. Ah, oh, look at this smooth driving we have going on. And we'll just stamp this one down. Boom. And we'll upgrade it immediately like this. Right. So what are we going to build this one? Just pop it down. This one as well. Plop it down. And I suppose we should also get an occasional crafting here. Great. This one will be making Nixie tubes. That means these guys are going to be capped with Nixie tubes less than, let's make it 100. That's still 1000. Copy, paste, like this, and copy, paste. So you're going to have 20. Oh. Oh. Like this. This one. Yeah, these guys are going to change into wooden stick or sticks. Great. That one is not possible, but this one will be 500. Boom. Good. That should work, right? Hey, I got some research. What kind of research did I get? I don't know. What is this nitrogen processing? The melamine hypochlorite. Solid fuel from hydrazine, that's the biggest waste. Do not go down that road. And this one, glycerol, those are things I do not want. This one, however, this one I want. Synthesis gas is so nice. Substation MK2, yeah. Well, I meant that Nino said that literal translation of them was hard rock and something if you... It's tensile strength and hardness. This is tough rock, yes. Hey, atomic vapor. Uh, can't see the inventory when you set max allowed stuff to be crafted. Can't. You can't see the inventory when you set max allowed stuff to be crafted. That I did not get any of, sorry. Oh, the sub count. Let me just check the overlay. Max 
max items to be crafted. I was actually considering this part down here is the space I'll use the least. I'm just checking myself on the overlay. Hmm. Number of crafting. Right. Yeah, that one. There we go. Better? Well, I wouldn't mind having larger numbers on the subs, but we can't, uh, can't have it all. So anyone who hosts this shows Nilo's host as the third item, you host yourself. No, I tested it. It's just because there hadn't been any notifications today. I had to test that everything was working, which it was obviously, but uh, we haven't had any uh, notifications. So not much is going on. That's been going on on that front today. Let's see. Here we are. This one obviously be the same. Obviously be the same. This one would not be the cobalt. There, this one will be bars of soap. Yep, like this. And then I take these, I just spam it down. Do I even have enough? Probably not even enough. These guys, I don't want. And of course, the ones that are most important are not. Craft it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go up here again. This last one. Get more. 70 Nixie tubes. Awesome. I don't know if I ever use this, but I think it's once in a while it's good to say, hey, where's all my aluminium? And say, oh, don't worry about it. It's over here. Cobalt. Copper. Maybe I should run down the front list first. Yes. Gold. Iron. Why is everything empty? That's not how it's supposed to be. Iron should not be empty. Lead should not be empty. This is not good. What the hell is going on? Nickel? No, no, it's not. No, it's just not working. Oh, right. Of course, it's because that thing is not hooked up. And that thing is not hooked up. And that thing is not hooked up. Great. Okay. Nickel, because I was sure this one's silicon. Silver. Tin. Titanium. Tungsten. And zinc. Good. Let's see. Mods. I'm not sure that's the correct mod. I think you need to do this one. This is the mod for the C block. The other one was a mod for the other one. Neatly. Yeah. Okay, so I was wondering what would be better for you in helping you make the content. Twitch sub Patreons are much better for me than Twitch subs, but I also realized that Twitch subs are probably more fun you because you get at least this one little emote in here until I get more of course but patrons is by far the most uh, beneficial for me because twitch has a lot of hoop to jump through and since it's uh, treated as an American company then I also have to pay American income tax before I get paid out to my own before I can pay my Danish income tax it's just wonderful that is not lead this is iron, iron ingots, gold, yes, gold, iron, and then nickel, and then silicon, tin, titanium, tungsten is obviously zero. Oh, there's no such thing. There's no such thing as that. I think it's just 
Auto tank then? Powder mixture. Okay, then this is just gonna be empty. At least then I can see that it's not supposed to be there. There. And we take the last one. Cobalt. Uh oh, I forgot steel. Yes, you're absolutely correct. I forgot steel. Good point. Steel ore. <laughs> but it's a good point. Um I can easily get it though. Nope, here. Deal. And I'll just get this one. Boom. And that, of course, needs to be hooked up. Let's see, this one. Copy, paste, copy, paste. And the steel, copy, paste. It's in, and this one will be a big nothingness. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And the steel will be steel ingots. Great. The steel ingot. Great. And the last one. Awesome. Thank you. Um, steel is an alloy. Yeah, that's true. But it kind of is. It kind of is because you need coke or carbon to make steel. So that and oxygen. So um, if we look at it, the steel takes iron ingots plus oxygen gas. Yeah, that doesn't really make it. Where's the steel process process? Yeah, steel plate. Nope. Where's actually strand casting? I have no idea where the strand casting is. Okay, let's get this one up and running. This is the copper. Now we need the copper. Get the copper. Go. Next one. Gold. That means we're actually also missing glass, but that's just getting really strange. Iron. Lead. Nickel. Nickel has a really cool color, I think. Silicon. Oh, hold on. This is the silver. Silver is also a bar of soap, steel, and tin. Titanium. I don't know why titanium is this purple color. It looks really strange. Tungsten and zinc at the end. There. Right, so now I have all of this overview and I can just say, hmm, why is almost all of it zero? Everything should be about 5,000 of it. I should have about, no, I think I've capped it. Come on, for the higher tiers. Yeah, cobalt and cobalt and nickel. Using cobalt and nickel to steel is a bad idea. A very, very bad idea. It's there. Let's get some lights. So we now have our... I don't know if I'll call it control panel or anything, but it gives us an overview of what we have. What I also should make is actually up here for electronics, just to mark uh, the key electronics. This is purple for playability, otherwise all silver is silver gray. Good point. This is the display panel. I just want my circuits as well. That's And then that's the last one. So. Isn't it called, it's wooden circuit? Right, like this, right? I think I'll just, wooden phenolic. First I'll make the board, then I'll make the circuit. They're all called circuit. And these are all called electronic. Yes, so it's board, circuit, electronic. The first one is basic. The next one is nothing. And this last one is superior. We can do this and make it make sense. Oh, I ran out of iron. How unusual. Just grab it from somewhere that requests iron. Yep. 
So first we'll have basic. Then we'll have, I don't know if we can call it normal. And we have superior. And I will then take it on the other dimension. Here. Let's try it. Go. 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 Yes, like this. Okay, so this one is right on top, and this one will call be called boards. The next one will be called. Hmm. I need more. Uh, what was the next one called? It was called circuit. Circuits, maybe. And the last one. Here and let's see, this one will be called electronic. Okay, awesome. Let's see what actually triggered. Oh, that's a pledge. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much for the pledge. Let's see, it says 33 patrons, but let's see if it uh, actually accrues on the website. This is, this one is something I'm. So, cool, and uh, let's see, Blair MC, awesome, welcome. Hey, are you in, you must be in here, but let's spam some obligatory Nilaus car as a welcome to our new uh, order of the path, captain of industry. I really wanna see this one update by itself. Let me just go to my channel and see if, if it takes some time before it registers here. Now it does register as, uh, as, 34 on the Patreon website. So I, so can you guys let me know when you see it change to 34 down here on the patrons? Because this is basically, I put a listener on the website and just really isolated that little field from the website and then changed the background with chroma key and just put it down there. And the same I did with the subs just for, for Twitch. I'm just looking at it, just staring. Come on, update. I'm actually, let me just try something. Just no, didn't work. Like, well, let me know if you see a change. Otherwise, we'll check back in a while. Uh, would you be interested in doing a belts and blog version in Angels Bar after you've done the vanilla one? I am. I'm actually really considering it because I think it would be. Uh, I think I would combine it with basically some a series that I would, I'm very, very tempted to call it Angel Bob done, Angel's Bob's mods done right. Because for several different reasons, I've, I had, there's no doubt that my Bob, my done right campaign is my most popular. So, hey, I like that and I have a popular campaign. I also, in all honesty, think that I could make a campaign that's Angel's Bob's mod done right, but also it's a bit provocative and I know that people will react and just they'll just be watching it, waiting for that slight little thing where they can say, no, no, you have to build it this way. That is incorrect. And I just love it. I just love getting getting those uh those discussions in. And this one is uh sports phenolic and I'll call it fiberglass boards. Basic circuits. And the circuit boards and the superior circuit boards, electronic. Oh, no, this is incorrect. Phenomenic and yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This one is the electronic circuit board. This is the 
ECBs, and this is electronic logic boards. Great. Right. Gotta capitalize on the Windows Done Right branding. I think, I honestly think so. I think there's also an expectation, especially expectation to it. Um, I think it'll be madness, but I also think it would be fun. I might not go all out belts and blocks, but I would. What? 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 To, what do you mean? Uh... Okay, what? So what are you saying? You're saying one percent CR is nice, yeah. With patrons, there are nearly two percent. Two percent. What CR? Oh, right. Of course, I use it. All uh, everyone goes goes in there if uh, if I get enough city blocks. And I think it's a really cool idea. I was uh, so happy when I got that idea. I was like, yes. Especially because, I mean, Arumba couldn't do it because he has a thousand uh, patrons and not even Exterminator could do it. But I can, I can do it because I don't have that many. That's pretty, uh, pretty awesome. I don't think this one has any. That one and that one. Yes. Cool. So this is also displaying, I have quite a lot of basic boards. This is a great overview. Now let's see if we actually do it. Uh, I have considered toning it down a bit, but I kind of let, like that arrogance in... Uh... Ah, followers to subs. Yes, that is a, that would be, <laughs> I'd wish for a 1% com conversion rate. Uh, can the patrons do the blocks? They get dedicated. That would actually be an interesting, uh, an interesting idea. But I think it would be a hell of a job to coordinate it and plan it. To be honest, it's uh, just like okay, and now I need to build plastics, and the base stands still until I have plastics, and then we need, uh, I don't know, Elendil to come in and do plastics, and he doesn't have time. And I, I think the, I think it'll be. I, I really like the idea. I just don't think it's gonna work out in, in sort of in reality. And the simple reason is that it then someone builds something and it's just not to right scale or I don't like it or um, but I I really like that concept. I like the concept. I, I wanna think about it. I wanna see if we can make something less. Oh Jerry, that looks really awesome. Sounds really awesome. I'm gonna can I did at some point do a, a review on a base that Technogren and someone else had built. And it was really cool just going in there, spending some time, just looking around what was going on. So I'd really like to uh, like to do that. <laughs> oh, Linda, that's a really good idea. But on the other hand, this is the part I, I don't like. I don't want to do work when I'm off work. That's why I really prefer building myself here because at work, I don't get to touch the stuff we build. And and I don't even get to be in part of, of the meetings that are really interesting. And it's kind of it's kind of this silent agreement between me and the team that we both know that I'm if I'm in the meeting, I'll start coming up with solutions. And that's not why I'm here. I'm supposed to be the manager, I'm not supposed to be there sparring on solutions. That's their job. So uh so did my Patreon name update. What was your Patreon? Damn, this Patreon, Patreon, this is not updating. Sucks. Just try and see. I'm just trying to see if I can update it like this. Oh, crap. Ah, there you go. It updated. But it doesn't update by itself fast enough. That's annoying. Hmm. I wonder how. I wonder if there's something I can set so that it updates more often. FPS, CCS. Okay, there's a. Oh, CSS. Refresh browser when scene becomes active. If press cache of current page. I don't know what that did. There you go. There it updates. I wish I could 
No, there we go. This works. Great. Um, name in the top left. Thirty-four patrons. It works. Yeah, but I had to. Uh, I had to sort of force it through. That's a bit impractical. But I don't think it happens so often that I get uh, new subscribers. That I really, uh, it's really gonna wear me down. I think it's something I still really will appreciate doing. Um, right. So what I and what you I don't think. It's not possible in the display here, but if we get to add it somewhere, for example, the, the one that really counts is what you have in Discord. So just send me a note in Discord and I'll uh, promote you in there. So whatever you have in Discord is the one that, that goes in. Now, now we need to do electronics. Right. This one requires fiberglass board, gold plate, ferric chloride. Ferric chloride, not a problem. Copper plate, not a problem. Gold plate, not a problem. Fiberglass. Oops, fiberglass is easy. It just needs plastic and glass. Wow, that's surprisingly easy, actually. Let's, um, isn't there something like I can put it in here? Loop. Did it work? Oh, yeah, it did work. Nice. Control U. And that one should also have been upgraded, but whatever. So what is it I want to make? I may want to make fiberglass. That's just something I need a lot of. So copy paste, let's get some plastic in here and some glass. I also need to scale up the glass for sure. And we will be scaling this one. Copy paste, copy. There, that's fiberglass, easy peasy. Next up, we're gonna make superior circuit boards. Those can be made in, well, since I'm going to put these in anyway, I will be, we make it like this. Circuit boards. Good. Copy, paste. Again, let's get 200. Uh, 200. I don't know. That's probably not enough. No, let's get 500 because these are going to be really active. So I just want everyone, everything to go in here. Great. This one will be making 1000 of these. There. That's also easy. Next one. This guy is making superior circuit boards, basic electronic boards, components, transistors, integrated, and solder. So only thing we're missing is actually the integrated electronics. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's, let's build it up here. It's not technically that efficient building it this far apart, but I'm gonna have to make you and that one. So, it will actually be these guys instead. No? Okay. Hmm. Copy, paste, 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 and paste. We're going to take 500 of everything in here, just because 500 is such a nice number. Yep. And there, copy, paste, paste, flip it back. That's also okay. And now I need one more. And that's this basic integrated electronics is not a problem in itself. It just needs sulfuric acid. And that's why I have this one here. Because that is exactly what I need. 
there. What are you doing? Oh, that's kind of vulnerable just having one. Uh, get a 1k of uh, boards, eat them like candy. EL components, electronic components. Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. First, I just build it so that I have the process, then I'm going to look at it, and then I'm going to scale it up. And um, some of them will need to be scaled up with multiples of two, three of those. This one, let's see. Copy paste. All of this should be there. 500. At this point, it's just a matter of getting stuff to be produced. Then I can start making... Uh, getting ratios. Also, when I get beacons and... I need beacons, obviously. And modules. Once I have that, yes, things will really start going. And we also have the plastic inbound. See how much is being consumed of each. Four silicon wafers. Definitely get more silicon wafers. You know, 2,000 maybe? It's a lot, but it just might be needed. Let's uh, continue on our tech journey. Anything else that might be relevant and interesting, I guess? Let's continue on the automation. Now we can build this one. Oh, yeah, we can. Make it. Get that up. Are those little assemblers, the red ones, better for electronic components as opposed to the normal size? Yes, they are. And they're working. I really need some, some modules coming in soon. Let's see. Are these being picked up? No, they're not getting picked up. Why are they not being picked up? Oh, right, because this thing up here is not the same network. Ah, it is now. There we go. Boom. Let's see. No, still not. Okay, interesting. Why is this not working? Not working because of the fiberglass. The fiberglass is not working because glass, just pure old fashioned glass. Your old-fashioned glass. Why is the glass not working? This is here. What are we not missing? We're missing silicon ore. Interesting. Why do? Why are we so dead on the silicon ore? We go down here. Is that because this one? This one's pretty empty. This one's okay. Hmm. Silicon ore. How are you doing? How are you doing? And there it is. Not well is the conclusion. You are in acute lack of sapphire ore or sapphire chunks. So, go for the sapphire chunks. Where are the sapphire chunks? They are not working because what? The lack of water. Are you serious? No. Not true. What's what's the problem here? Purified water, it should be coming in here. This one? Oh, right. No, that didn't happen. Ha! I do not have an output. Oh, no, that's so long. I just signed up to become a patron, but it says it'll charge me on the 1st of December. Oh, it will show. It should show. It will show now. Um, so you get all of the credit from being being a patron without even paying for it. Oh, look at the disaster. Look at the disaster here. Uh, no, it was actually, it's actually because I wanted to do it like this. Why did I want to do it like that again? This one's working except what? What is not working here? The whole factory ruined. Yes, start over. Start over. It's never going to work. 
this is the brilliant part about Factorio. So when thing stops, for example, I could make my, I couldn't, let's just for the hell of it, just walk through it. So I could not make my, I can't even remember quite, electronic logic boards because I couldn't make my superior logic boards because I couldn't make my fiberglass because I couldn't get any glass because I couldn't get any silicon because I couldn't get any sapphire sapphire chunks and that's because a single inserter was turned wrong how about that isn't that ironic and fun and annoying at the same time this is the brilliant part of the uh, of Factorio, in my in my opinion. I love it, and we finally have these guys running. Unfortunately, it's just stuck for a long. It's been stuck for a long time. Anything else that isn't working? But hey, I wish we had like an overview where you could see how things are working. Uh, Sapphire, ammonia was not doing right. Stereotype not doing right. Rubite is not doing right. But in Rubite's case, we can see it gets shoved to the crystals. That's fine. Sapphire is just a matter of the chunks are being consumed faster than they can can be produced. Okay, stereotype is it's the same. It's not keeping up with demand, but the other ones here are pretty stable. It's some interesting numbers actually here. That those numbers indicate to me that one of them is wrong. Yeah, that's kind of not what I wanted. This is jewelite. Crush jewelite, please. And cross continuum. Yes. Did I then not figure out all the other ones? They're okay. Yeah, so it's just this one. Here, all of this okay, the superiors, none. None of either of them. Okay. The biome, uh, ah, <laughs> Mind you, when I was playing Minecraft, re-rolling to get the right biomes. Okay. That is... Imagine I've never played Minecraft. This was okay. Tilt is okay. Titanium, obviously not okay. Zinc is actually quite okay. Silicon is problematic here, but that's because this is now the, the lead into glass. Lead is actually also a bit of a problem. Lead ingots. Hmm. And aluminium is, yeah, what it is. Hello, Zulan. These are numbers of each of, uh, this is my overlay of, uh, of how my factory is doing. So we have the circuit boards up here, basic boards, basic circuit boards, basic electronic boards, Normal boards. Let's actually call let's call phenolic boards. Could have called this one phenolic. And and circuit boards, electronic circuit boards as well. So these are just keeping track of it. The minuses means that the logistics bots are inbound to pick up whatever it is. For example, here there are three bots inbound, now there's two bots inbound, and there's one bot inbound. But it basically, I can see the ones that are stable here. They're doing fine. And then I can just try to keep track of how things are doing. Looking good. Yes, it counts uh, the requested amount as negative. That's how it works. Because for example, here it says pick up 200. But there are only six in here. But once the robot comes in, it you can see now that it comes in, oh, it picks up 12 and then it goes off. So let's see why we're still not making our production. I guess the glass is actually our main concern at this point. It might actually be time for me to build better types of glass. Let's, uh, oh, I can't believe I'm actually saying this. Seems uh, blasphemy. Or oh, it seems very contradictory to my own sort of proclivities. Like this one's good. This is lime plus silicon, great. That's the best one I can make. And where do we have glass in here? That one. Glass. And I use the one with molten lead. Right? Don't I? 
No, I don't. I could use the one with molten lead. How would I do that? Where is it? Nope, I can't do that. Oh, it needs to better machine. This is a... No, it's a Mark II. Why is not... Why is it not there then? It should be possible in a Mark II machine to make glass. Oh, right. It's actually because it's one of these machines that has to be done. There. Yeah, that's not as easy to work with. Not... Yeah, barrel, barrel up some molten lead. That's, uh, you're making it hard for me to go to class today. I'm sorry. What class do you have? Molten lead. Yeah, in the casting machines. That, that means this whole layout is getting stuck. But what is it I'm getting out of, out of it? I'm, what material is it? It is lead oxide? Software development. Yeah, it's pipe spaghetti. It's going to be really ugly. Oh, software development. You should go there. This is your career at stake. Factorio. Watching Factorio is not a career. Hey, look at that. Gold is actually is actually working. I am capped on gold. Oh, right. The only reason I'm capped on gold is because my science is constrained by glass now. Right. This one's working. This one is working. This one, why are you not working? You're waiting for that glass thingy. What else do we have down here that we need? Titanium processing. That seems like a reasonable thing. Also, we could do the purified, except the purified one is total garbage. None of these are worth doing. It's only this one that's worth doing. Um, I might want to consider Gem processing? Character? What? I have character inventory slots that I haven't taken. Seriously? What about this one? I'm almost at the electronic circ logic boards, so maybe this is what I should do. Uh, Victoria uses the same debugging method as you would use when making software. Uh, not necessarily. Go for the third tier of glass. It's better at yields than. <laughs> well, Prime Dead, you you are the expert then because you've dropped out of school many times. I mean, that's like uh, listening to people saying they quit smoking and they say, "I can I can quit smoking any time I want." I've done it four times. Like, well, if you could, you would have only done it once. Ah, factory software, yeah. And uh, but you you can actually you can you can make breakpoints. You can make it with um, with we could make it with wire conditions. Just basically, if this is not when something breaks, you can also make uh, the speakers go crazy. And Nifty uh, Nifty Maniac created this uh, Factorio Basic. Form of uh, programming for them. Right. What am I looking for? I'm looking. I was looking for better, better glass. I also have that option. What do we get? This one. Oh, that. But that's a disgusting formula. And this one is never going to happen. No. You know, I just. Just rather want to scale things up. Hmm. And good night, what's a great of you to join. Right. Let's uh, let's just take a step back and wonder uh, or re figure out what it is we actually make need to make. Maybe it's actually start working on some more of the smelting area. I think that's really what we need so we can get all the rest of the materials running. The solder here is such a shame taking it out because it works. 
But I actually don't think I should take it out. I should just move it. I should just move this one. And remove this. So it out here. This is just a mess. All of this down here needs to go. Hold on, that's this is just incorrect. Just stop it. It makes no sense. Might as well just do this one. Because this makes sense. There. Maybe you need to power display as well. Don't think so. Power is fine. For now. Oh, did I kill a grass fish? Oh, I need to stop killing grass fish. Blacklist the black fish. There. Thank you for mentioning it. Sorry, land fish. And Quince that searching for Victoria is, just, is the same principle as debugging software. Maybe. I'm... I think it's much more of a, a lean process of five whys is a great way to find to find uh, to find errors in Factorio. It is, and it, it teaches the same way the, about the reasoning. I always agree with you. For, <laughs> so, uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for these guys and those guys. Great. Yep. Yeah. So, this will make solder. Where is my solder? Molten solder? Huh. What do I actually want the most? Do I have zinc in the ingots or lead ingots? It's basically the same. So I'll take this one. I believe that's cheaper. Here I will request 50 of those. Ah, the Power armor is not as fast as it should have been. Look at this. Look how slow it is. And it's probably because of the glass. Yeah, it's on, it's on. That's all. That I agree. It's more like supply chain management or obviously production management. So I am. Um, that's that's at least where where I see the most similarities. I'm actually considering making a series, but don't tell anyone because I don't want anyone to steal this idea from me. Um, so keeping keeping just you guys here, I am considering making tutorial videos on, on lean production using Factorio. And that's actually one of my subtle motives of making the belts and blocks. There's because the belts and blocks has a tremendous potential to show the seven wastes of lean. Yeah, hands out NDAs. Yes, please. You, you, uh, you are automatically enrolled in the NDA when you are watching this. So anything, anything you see or hear here is confidential. Obviously. Solder. There. And I think it would be fun maybe doing one. You know, I know you're an admin for a Roomba, but I think if I don't, um, I oh, Prime Dead, let me use you for uh, milk you for information. Now that you are have the inside scoop, you're sitting here bragging about your connections with a Roomba. So let's put it to the test. Has um has a Roomba stopped playing Factorio, or has he just or I mean. Has he stopped playing or is he just not playing right now? If you know, and if you're allowed to say, of course. Because maybe he has made some kind of statement and saying, yep, I'm not playing Factorio anymore. It sucks. They're all stupid or whatever. Doesn't sound like him, but um, he might have said that or, and I just don't really keep up.
He's preparing comeback with all the info clean from this channel, I am sure. That's happened before. It's one of those things that's really hard for someone like me to say, is it a compliment or do you feel kind of cheated because wasn't anyone playing Angel's Bob's mod before I started doing it? Don't know if that's good or bad, but it is what it is. And then I'll I'll make silicon. Take this out. I don't know. <laughs> as far as I know, I have no clue. Well, that's very confident of you to state it that certainly. Yeah. Yeah, but it's... But considering he has this... Uh, I mean, I've seen his website. It's a... It's, uh, shoddy piece of work, I don't know what amateur has built it for him, but um, but on that website it says 7 videos a day, or 8 videos a day, and it's pretty far away from 8 videos a day, to uh, be perfectly honest, and I'm just wondering if he's he's just dialing it back, or if he is uh, because of travel and sickness that he might be just alright, it's just a, a phase and of course that website thing is uh, it's just a friendly poke at Prime Dead who built the website and who is also frantically trying to build a website for me, but I'm just being the most obnoxious and annoying customer. I mean, even I'm not even a customer. So, uh, there's a new... I know there's a new and improved website. That's the one uh, Prime Dead built for him. That's why I'm uh, throwing it out there. This is the silicon. Personal idea is that he will go back to him if he isn't. I don't. I don't think he's giving up on uh, YouTube, Twitch. That would be probably a bad idea, considering, as far as I know, that's his living, as uh, main income. But I mean, that's just speculation. I do very much enjoy having more people in the community. It's it's. Um, some would see it as competition and of course to some extent it is competition because some people are not going to watch every let's play and if a rumba has one and i have one then there's a lot of people who will choose to watch a rumba and not mine but on the other hand a name like his name is getting a lot of people to look at factorio and if he can pique their interest then he can be the gateway drug and then i can uh, maybe latch onto it from there so a bigger community is definitely better for all the streamers. Uh, for that, is gunmetal? Yeah, gunmetal. I have no idea. I'm just gonna link the page to Arumba. There you go, that's the one, but uh, no. Chocolate Hotel will what limits I have to play. Yeah, it does. It does for me as well. There's someone in my team who is uh, on a sick leave and he needed something to uh, spend his time. And then I gave him, I gifted him a copy of Factorio. So I'm probably never going to see him again at work. I just figured that would be like the perfect thing to spend time on when you're sick and can't come to work anyway. Imagine that. Imagine imagine how good a boss I am, to be perfectly honest. If you if your boss said, Look, you just you're just just be sick, come back after Christmas. Here's I here's a copy of, of Factorio. Does a uh, how does that sound? It sounds illegal. Why would it be illegal for me to give him a copy? I bought it without my own money. <laughs> I 
Of course. Yeah. All right, so this one is just gradually emptying, so I can remove this. I will need to move the one up here. What is this one? This is the steel, so we can take away the steel now. It's not going to do anything. The lead, don't we have lead up here anyway? Oh, that one, it's not entirely correct. Oh, there's the lead. So this one, why are you, do what are you doing? Oh, that's not lead, that's glass, of course. Uh, <laughs> then also on Siva and then stop because he was sick. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Ah, uh, Sulan, that's a, uh, he doesn't need to pay taxes. It was a gift, private gift. It was not from the company. It was a present from me to him. Not a, it was not paid by the company. So don't need to pay taxes on that. And even then there's a, it's marginal. So it's a too low value to need to pay taxes off. One. This copper thing is not needed either, is it? This copper is okay. What is it I need? Oh, aluminium. Let's build aluminium. This one is definitely not needed anymore. So we're just going to do this one and that one as well. The tin as well. Great. So robots get busy. Now I am actively breaking all of my stuff because I need to move it. Ah, this one's done. I can take this out. Value of Victoria is huge. Ah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> if you guys watch the Roomba's AMA, he did have a depression back in the day, so no clue. Yeah, that's... I think it, I, I really think it's very courageous of him to be so honest about uh, his private situation on uh, on YouTube, because of course, obviously he didn't need to share these kind of things and he still does. So I think that's uh, pretty great of him, or courageous. Here, and bridging the networks, boom. This one will then change to aluminium. Copy paste this one to aluminium. And I'm quite aware that this is not working because I don't have any ingots, but I need to start somewhere. Do I have enough aluminium? I think I do. This one is not getting anything in. Great. I think I need to move this. So this one will be solder. Let's put some actual specific things. This one is silicon. Silicon plates. The completes. This one was aluminium. This one is iron. Copper. What was this one? This one was lead. This one is steel. What? Do I have two copper? No, no, no. no. That one was actually another iron. This is steel. And copper. Right. So that's now that's actually I can see which ones I'm missing. I'm at gold and tin and brass and bronze and glass and all that stuff. Okay. I'll I'll just continue up here. One, two, boom. 
Overly not correctly, you have 35 patrons. Really? Why is it not updating? It I didn't get any update there. Fresh cash? Wow, thank you. Awesome. Let's see. Hmm, what was the last notification here? Let's see, got some notifications. Oh, Jerry, thank you. Awesome. So it went through. That's awesome. I have been looking at you in uh, in Discord and saying, hmm, you are one of the regulars around here. So definitely noticed that you're regular. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, is there still the bug with the coolant in English mod where the recipe for ceramic filters is double research? I have no idea. I don't use coolant. Also, you are getting more money than getting more money than you. That's that's uh, of course it's it's fair. Hey, and you get a welcome, Nilo's car. Of course, it's more fair. You are working business to business, and I'm working business to consumer. You need to pay to subtrain only. Oh yeah, that's true. Eighteen of my goal, and I also and I have a. I already have the specs for my new uh, my new computer, so I'm just waiting for that inevitable moment where I can say, "Well, now I have to buy it because." I promised myself and everyone that I would buy it. And this is going to be the tin. Tin, tin, tin. And this one switches also to tin. Great, this one is working. That is now tin. Let's put a marker on this so we can find it again. Great, let's have a look at what we're missing. Gold, yeah, I need to revamp the gold. And here, the gold is not going to be this. And then we have all of these mixed ones. This is not a pretty one. It's not a pretty one either. Why is this so damn slow? It's these ones. Oh, powder mixer at Mark One. Can I not make better powder mixers by now? No, really? And primed it. Yes, you sent an updated uh, spec for. I would suggest you wait till February when the new Intel comes out. Should break all records. Yeah, but the new. The only reason I would wait for the new one to come out is because then the old one is slightly um, is, is always dropping in price immediately. This is not good. This okay. So that's the one you built. Let's see if and is there a price for it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, two thousand dollars. So those two hundred. Uh, Mark on Patreon. It's still gonna take a long time until that breaks even. But you know, this is not a, this is not supposed to break even. If you're gonna hate people, do so on Discord. What? Who's hating what? Right. I didn't get that. Oh, hate on the build? Oh, okay. Right. Now let's see. What uh, was the next one we wanted to build? It was actually the gold. I want to move gold up here. The reason that I want to make gold up here is because I want to separate it from the ingots. Dracula will... Ah, right. Dracula into the Discord. You are very clever, sir. Yeah, you are. You are also working as my marketing department now. Yeah, but the thing is, I am. 
I don't have any strong feelings against AMD or anything like that. But on the other hand, well, I don't really have any reason why to take the less road, less traveled. With these kind of things, yeah, I just want it. I want to be as mainstream as possible because I want to have, I don't want to deal with any kind of compatibility issues between network cards or, um, yeah, you know, anything that could just be potentially, yeah, because I know that, you know, the NVIDIA and Intel, they'll go hand in hand and they'll always work together. So let's just go with the mainstream option. You know the drivers will always be there. That's my thought. So we have now built... That one? Hmm. This one that needs to be taken out. Because I need to build the ingots somewhere else. This one, I don't know if I can... Oh, this one as well. This has to be changed. Why is this so complicated? Oh, it's because I'm, I'm making the ingots here. This is a bad design. This doesn't... Yeah, that must have been tired because this is what I should have built. No, I can't even build it right there. Because this thing is in the way. Uh, it doesn't matter. None of this is particularly important. Get some big requested chests. There. And this one is not capped, so... Let's just keep going on this one. And that one as well will need to be removed. I just build a few because I need a few here. Right. The biggest issue with was initially that Windows struggled with the latest MD CPUs, but even that Okay. I know, but I have a an acute dislike for troubleshooting computers. And Exactly because of that, I just don't bother with things that are... I just want it as safe as possible. You, go away. And that means we can now build yet another one of these. Here. What was this again? What am I building here? Brass plate, yes. I need brass plate and I need bronze plate. So this is brass. Molten bronze. Molten bronze. Uh, definitely not nickel ingots. Just not yet, at least. Molten brass. Yeah. Five hundred. And we'll just take five hundred of the other one as well. Let's get rid of, oops, not that one, but a lot of the other ones here. They do not fit in the inventory. Great. That was brass, and then this one is brass as well. This one is brass again. There. Is it LinkedIn? No, it is not there. And we mark it. That is gold. And this is brass. Then we may need to make all the other ones as well. I like this one. I like these, uh, this setup. It's nice, modular. We like things that are modular. Now it's time to take all of this thing out here. That thing goes. with the exception of the stuff that does not need to be disappeared. The 
it just wants to stay. Oh no, my inventory, my poor inventory. Luckily, there is hope. I can just do this one and just put crap in the in, in this one. That one and that one. Nope. Oh, it already disappeared. Great. Should be fine. More brass plate. You know what's funny? Discord is like... Uh, what? <laughs> so this one will also need to be gone as well. I'll need to split it into the mixer part and yeah, the other part. And the gold here can also be disbanded now. I mean, there will be tons of things that just stop working in the space as a result of this. And the problem is I will not have time to rebuild it because I will be too tired. So this is like a perfect setup. This is a perfect recipe for disaster. Where next time I'm looking at the base and then I'm looking at why, why is nothing working anymore? And the reason is I broke it. a lot of weird things I have in my inventory now. Don't need these either. That's about right. Good. Anything that's Mark 1? Oh yeah, we do have a lot of Mark 1s. All of this is unpowered. Why is... Oh, because of that one. And this is also unpowered in terms of Here. And then we just need to hook it up to power. So these ones are working again and I can then dismantle this part. Great. So we have room again. Getting an error on the Discord link. Really? Hmm. I will see. Continue. Continue on Discord. Looks like it's working. Awesome. Wow, it oh it launched it didn't launch the app, it worked in launched somewhere else. Next one. This one. Now, can anyone remember what I was, what I just deconstructed? Because I can barely remember it by now. So this one was probably some glass of some kind, um, I suppose. Molten glass. I'm gonna make molten glass, and you are just gonna make regular glass here. Zip, zip. These ones are. There would actually have been, there would have been a nice, much nicer way of doing this. I'm just gonna do it now, just uh, because I think it's more fun. No. Doesn't matter. It's going to be this way. Copy, paste. Great. So this is the glass. I'll just mark glass here. Great. Moving down. Oh, copy, paste this one. And what's going to be the next one? Is two in different distance one? You can't produce rhubarb in my crystallized, so I was wondering what mod he was using. Really? Can't produce rhubarb in your crystallizers? That seems strange. You should be able to produce rhubarb in the crystallizers. 
Does that require uh, rule mark two? Nope, it doesn't require mark two. And I don't think it requires any tech either. Okay, so what was this? Let's see. Glass, iron, steel, copper, tin, lead, aluminium, gold. We can do silver. We can do bronze. Let's do bronze here. Molten bronze. Copper and tin ingots. Copper, tin, and nickel. I also have all of these mixed ones. What else? Steel, zinc. Oh, we don't have zinc. Let's do zinc. Ah, don't bother with the zinc. Boring. Titanium we will do at some point. And gold. Cobalt. Chrome. Nope. Silver might be a good idea. We'll do bronze first. Because that's needed for something, I guess. That's the nice toast. There and there, go. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. It's an awful lot of tin of copper we need here. Great, so this is bronze. Mark it on the map. Bronze. And then I get guess it's time to make the other ones. Let's make silver first. Silver. Molten silver. Of course we don't have it yet, but that's um it's a different matter. Here we'll get the silver bar, silver soap bars. Got it. I think we have actually covered a lot of ground today. We just look at it. Not a lot in terms of tech, but in terms of just scaling up the base, it's working really well. That is the silver. And let's have a look again at what the next one would be. <clears throat> oh, that's a... Uh, you have a question. Sorry. Now let's uh, I can't read really Ruben in my crystallizers. So I'm stuck just below green research. Hmm. That's really strange. I'm, uh, if I'm just, I'm just checking it here. The rubite, it just comes from mineral sludge. Discord link still doesn't like, okay, well, uh, let me give, you a new link to the discord because we can't have you not being here copy try that one it expires so remember to use it soon ish should i take a look at these more advanced materials down here like cobalt steel like Electrum and gunmetal. I don't think I've ever used gunmetal. Invar, Invar is using molten Invar, obviously. Molten Invar comes from steel and nickel. And cobalt steel comes from steel and cobalt. I guess we could just do one more. I think you could help me later if I don't get it to work. I'm sorry, I can't help you later because um, I'm... I'm going to fall asleep the second I stop this one, and it's not going to be a long time until I've, I stop and fall asleep. Uh, I, my recommendation would be that you download the mods. I, I, would, I would definitely delete the mods and do again. You are not going to break your save that way. So it should still work. But then again, the should is... Uh, Let's do Electrum. Electrum is not used very much, but it used a bit. 
So we just use Electrum now. We're probably also getting Electrum. My reference for Electrum was is from the good old old school Dungeons and Dragons, where they had Electrum was between gold and silver, obviously because that's what it is. Copy paste, and you're gonna get gold and silver inbound. Not even no gold, no silver is inbound. It is part of the big network. Why is gold not inbound? Oh, because I don't have gold. Right. So now we have. This one will be Electrum. Never used gun vessels, so I'm not really that uh, keen on getting it. Maybe we can also do remake, but so does, don't care. This one will be Rubite. Next is Sterotite. Next is Crotinium. And then Spopmonium. Sapphirite. And I don't need to look to see that it's Chivalite for the last one. I like this when you start having bases where there's good indicators everywhere. Here as well. Let's put them here as well. Stereotite. Sapphirite. Basically, I have doomed my base this way because I have to rebuild it before it'll start working again. Yeah, that one, just delete. Don't need to explain what it is if I can show this icon. There. Right. And this is now the place where that needs to be cleaned up, this part. This one is dead, everything here is dead. And, oh, there's, there's actually produced 10, so I don't need it for that part, right? Is the tin working up here? Yes, it is, great. Actually, I need to also build a radar MK2. I'll build it up here for sure. There, there it is. I've not even expanded my base today. And I wonder how it's doing. How is our stockpile? Can you recall where it is? Where was it? There it is. This one. 20, oh, I have 70,000 70, uh, landfill. Wow. Uh, I don't. Seventy thousand landfill. All right, that's going to be a bit of a, a session just to take that out. And you think it'll take a long time, but it really won't. It won't take very long time. So now we are actually at a position where we don't really have any anything in the way of us building. Oops, I actually didn't pick up. Pick up you. This one's also not necessary. What are this part? Something. Get up. And we just expand here. Got it, and got it, there. Just gotta make sure that we don't wreck our principles of the sacred walking path. These are also up for dismemberment, if you like. Oh, it's probably a lot of crap to be thrown out. Yeah, definitely. Nothing is in the way of our trains now, or soon, at least.
Good. I just need to take more of this out. That one, that one. Perfect. Almost. This one, however, is a weird and wonky one. So I guess this would be better suited to go up here, maybe. Like that. And then I'll cup these ones just to make sure that we get rid of what we have. These are Mark II. These are all process Mark II. Oh, right. They're not part of a network now. And they are now. Good. Although that one is not this built. Run mud and crush the ore. You make landfill for mud and slag. I make landfill lots of places. This place is probably my... There's 30,000 here. Oh, those have stopped working. Ah, what a hack. That's one place. The other place is here. I have 5.3. The last is here. 2.3. And here, 23. And then I also have a small one down here. 500. That's what I have a landfill of the various sources. Everything seems to be working. This one's not. Why is that not working? This one's overfilled and this one is underfilled. Really strange. Go. Why are you not working? You're not working because you're... Because you're what? What? Oh. Right, there's 600 there. Okay, we have apparently plenty of that. Great. I go to buy here. Uh, go, 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 go. Over here. That's 8,000. I can still do more. Right. Like this. Now this one's pretty much full. Not ideal, but let's uh, go with it. And where are my nanobots not building? Oh, right. They are actually building. They build up basically everything here. Except... Why not that one? Oh, it's because it's a steel pot one. Great. And then some power. Great. And this one can now be deconstructed. Go away. And that will give me one steel as well. Steel underground pipe that we need. But don't insert code. Goes into the filtration yards. What? Inserts won't insert coal filters into filtration yards. Just need this one. Boom. Now it should be working. What are you waiting for? That's working. This one's in here. We're not getting any oxygen. Well, that's coming in, so that's good. And this one has what it needs. Yes, yes. Okay, so it's definitely the oxygen we're waiting for. But I get empty barrels in, but I do not get oxygen in at this point. Boom, I'll just take that one. Let's continue to get rid of more stuff. Right, so now we have more space for this. I This one should not be necessary anymore. I don't know, do not even know where it's, what it was supposed to connect to anymore? Doesn't matter, it's gone. It's out. We have some bridges here across for the robot network. I don't bother with changing it. I'm gonna change it later on. And over here, I can always just... This is the right way to get rid of stuff. There. That's all the stuff we want to get rid of. So we actually can, at this point, just build. Ah, stone is dead. The reason why it's dead is because it's...
was used for so many things that sort of wore out. And this part here is also quite vulnerable, I would say. But let's uh, let's try and see if we can the I feel that the correct thing here is taking all of these and just moving them up like this. Let's do that. Start with removing all the content. Anything inbound? Yes. Stuff is inbound. You need nature tubes for landfill. Yeah, yes. I might uh, want to do that anyway. And they're gone. Great. So now I can remove all of this in order to rebuild it so we get more space for our elusive train line, though I don't exactly know what I'm going to use the train line for. It has just been become a, a thing that I must build. There. Off you go. Okay. Right, so there's... Oh no, my beautiful thing over here. And this one is going to be so nice to have next time because then I'll for example say say silver we have some but not the rest silicon oops that's also dead because I don't have silicon ingots aluminium dead and all these so this will be the best way to, to start next time just getting up oh look at that superior I have a thousand superior I had completely forgotten about this look at that awesome and now we can use it to build power armor if only power armor worked. But of course, everything is uh, stopped. Let's check out the beautiful railway bridge mod plus Bob's fix. Really look. What is it? Is it a mod? Can you link it in the Discord? I'd like to see it. Anyway, what I also would like to see is my bed very soon, to be perfectly honest. It has, uh, it has gotten quite late. Anyway, uh, who did we get if I don't see Mojo in chat? Otherwise, I could just bounce it over to him to take care. So anyway, at the last part, I will be marking out my social. I'll be saying a big thank you to the two, uh, to two new Patreon supporters, Thierry and to Machu. I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Leave me a comment in Discord, even you, Cherry, because I might just forget it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to round off for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. This uh, base is, we've not checking like crazy, but at this point we are branching out to get every single component. Once you have that, it's going to be easier to climb up the tech tree. And maybe next time we'll be working on, on the, uh, modules and beacons that would actually be a really neat things to start working on so thanks everyone for joining hope you're enjoying it hope you'll be checking out the youtube and back here i'll be back streaming not next tuesday unfortunately because i'm on an off-site leadership training but definitely next thursday i'll see if i can squeeze in another uh, another stream maybe monday evening for that so thank you for joining i'll see you next time bye